Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games, broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. Yay. Yay. And those of you in other time zones, welcome to Saturday. <laughs> um, especially our uh, first person up who's uh, made a game, kind of a game, uh, Boulder Dash Engine, Andrew Davey. Yeah. Who's in the future. In the future. It's uh, Saturday morning over there, so uh, <laughs> he just woke up. Uh, we have three games, two and a half. The first one's not a game, <laughs> but it is. You can play it. <clears throat> the first one, Boulder Dash Engine. Okay. Uh, it's a new framework for making games. Okay, cool, cool. Um it's made by Andrew Davey. We have an exclusive world premiere of it. We're the first ones to play it. Excellent. I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole bunch of uh, new technology in it. So it's mm -hmm. very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, second game we're going to be playing, uh, it is a technically a 7800 day, uh, Serpentine, uh, which is made by Mike Sarna, known as Revenge. And the third game we're going to be playing is Junior Pac-Man. Exciting, exciting. By Pac-Man Plus, Bob DeGrizenzo. Excellent. And he is in the chat tonight as Excellent. well with us. As well as a lot Very of people. Excited. Very excited to play. Um, and I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers for supporting the show. Al in the Fur Arms, Scar Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Catalogs, Charles and Chat, Coconut 81, Dino Dead, NBC, Fat Beavis, Gray Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, One Year Rider, Jupiter Storm, Carl G. Croco, Malchitos, Mark Spacing, Matthew Lazarus, Metal Atari, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Packer, FVG, Quahog, RC70, Rendered, Ghost, Renless, uh, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Socrates, Spice for Ass Ramirez 2008, The D Train, Welsh Man, and Tiki Dan K, and did I say Trek MD? No, because he just resubscribed Excellent. just before the show. Excellent. Uh, and he's been subscribing for 12 months. Wow. Oh Good on God. you. I can't. Um, and you can support the show for free as well and get your name down this list um, by uh, clicking. If you have Amazon Prime, just uh, link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and it's free. <laughs> um, and make sure you follow, like, and subscribe on uh, Twitch and all the other things because then you know when the show is on the air. It'll just send the alert right to your phone or whatever you use, your computer, everything. Uh, we have some mail. Uh, it is mail. partially opened because yep. I was kind of expecting something. I didn't know if this was it because yep. I don't I don't memorize people's addresses, so it's kind of already opened. Oh, bye. <clears throat> uh, well, to be clear, I opened it. Yes. He wanted to open it on stream, and I said, "Why don't I check to see what it is?" Because you weren't entirely sure what it was. So. Yeah, I mean, I can open it and then go, no, <laughs> and then yeah. put it aside. I think Very I've true. done that before. Very true. So I I guess I could have done that. Yeah. But this was partially opened by you. Partially opened by you. Let's see what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> it is something very exciting. Yeah. It's in Televania, <laughs> which is Castlevania for the Intellivision. That's which is really neat. Absolutely incredible, mm. actually. Um, notice this copy of Intellivania does not include controller overlays. Two control overlays will be mailed to you directly as soon as possible, mm. free of charge. Mm. Wanted to get your game in your hands as soon as possible. Thank you for your purchase. Very, very cool. I don't know if uh, anybody has seen gameplay of this. It is astounding. And if you haven't, I'm going to show you some gameplay of this because you're like, in, in, in t uh, Castlevania on the Intellivision? How is that even possible? That sounds crazy, <laughs> but it's not. Um, and the footage I'm going to be showing you is uh, from Grey Defender's channel. And I, I kind of said, Grey Defender, you're in my notes tonight. <laughs> and he said, uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully for nothing bad, because he's in the channel uh, tonight. In the chat, yeah. Uh, watching. Mm. So it's actually from his channel. He did a, a playthrough of it. Mm. Uh, so here it is. Uh, it's from the beginning. Oh, might as well let it. <laughs> Nice, it sounds good. Yep, let me just, they can't Look hear it. cloud. Oh. Obviously it's not gonna be NES level. This oh, is a, true, yeah. This is a uh, system from 1979, but 
it's got everything there and it's very recognizable very cool i mean very very playable i mean just take a look at it looks like oh, yeah. a ton of fun and i couldn't resist getting it because it just looks so amazing it so does I'm really looking forward to playing this um i do want to upgrade my intellivision to rgb um before i do play it uh, crossbow is actually doing so, some upgrades to some intellivisions uh, as we speak uh, to rgb nice. nice so crossbow. i'm looking forward to him doing some demos on his channel uh, so i can check out the quality excellent. of it before i do mine very and cool. check out how easy it is if he's recording it or yeah. i don't know if he's going to do a full video on it but i'm sure he'll post some some pictures in the atari age forums at least so hopefully that doesn't uh, get um, a copy strike <laughs> on the channel for castlevania music because yeah. it's actually pretty uh, pretty pretty uh, pretty uh accurate mm -hmm. uh let's see if he got any trouble it doesn't look like uh great offender got in any trouble and he posted that a while ago mm. um in television blasphemy <laughs> We, we talk about other game systems from time to time. <laughs> I just don't play them. <laughs> mm. I usually just play Atari. Um, funny, funny, funny. So I'm actually wearing now, speaking of Atari, ugh, cat. I love that. In uh, television, I may have to cancel my subscription. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. What is going on here? Uh, is that at 60 I... frames a second? Oh, I stopped it. It uh, was not. No. So you might be missing some things there. I'm <laughs> missing some fresh. Shame on you, great offender. <laughs> yeah, so th some things might be blinking in and out. Oh. Um, so I'm actually wearing my 7800 shirt today. So mm -hmm. if you like it, it's available. Um, here's the link to buy it if you like it. You don't have to buy it. You can just stare at my shirt. <laughs> um, there you go. Uh, it's on the uh, Zero Page store. Uh, so... VHZC is working on a new 7800 game. Wow. He, a new one. A new one. He just one. keeps popping them out. <laughs> well, I mean, he has like, I don't know how many going at once right now. Mm -hmm. And it looks incredible. Mm -hmm. It is more like a dungeon crawling game, it looks like. Uh, it is, I believe, single screen. So let's take a look, a quick look at it here. And it's called Night Guy in Low Res World Quest. Quest for something. <laughs> like literally, that's what it's called. Quest for something. I don't think it has any sound. So we'll just leave it on anyway. Um, he said uh, he posted a video on Tuesday. And then uh, yesterday he posted a description of it in the Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. Because somebody said, hey, look what I found. VHZC put a video on his channel. Mm -hmm. So he had to talk about it then of on, on it. Um, so it's a single screen adventure style game, um, Zelda-esque, yeah, uh, Zelda NES era. Yeah. He said, quest for something uh, that is really an early project, but I've already coded almost all the game mechanics, wow. including a mid-boss battle, health recovery, and such. And I plan to release a demo uh, when I reach 15 or so screens. Mm -hmm. uh, and that would be very soon. And I think he's got th at least three, four in here so far. He's got a locked gate there. He's got a chest to pick up, a sword, an obstacle, a uh, little thing, crushing crushing things there. Very ah! nice. Uh, smoosh. Yeah, I'm sure he did that on purpose <clears throat> so he could demonstrate the death. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe yeah. he's just really bad at playing his own games. No. no. Okay, so that's four screens. Nice. Got that's the fifth screen. He's got the sword. He can defeat the plant? No, he looks like a little, a little, snaky. Uh, a little dragon. Dragon? Or oh, dragon. tiny dragon. Or dinosaur. Dinosaur. Oh, yeah. And he's done. And there we go. And there's a whole bunch of Norm MacDonald videos. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's funny. Um, <laughs> my chat froze. Oh, reload. Mm. Um, so really looking forward to that. And we'll be playing it on the show mm. uh, as soon as it's available to us. Mm. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm guessing 15 screens would be enough to give a, a really good um, start, a really good view of what he has planned yeah, what he's working on yeah. yeah very cool does in television have zero page i would i would think almost uh i would think every 8-bit system has zero page memory addressing mm. um so yes so it would fit i could put in television <laughs> games i i'd know very little about in television or ColecoVision. i'm just starting yeah. to learn about the 7800 slowly <clears throat> you know but mostly I, I i'm sticking to atari 
Mm. Um, Splendid Net says any computer does. So any computer. There you go. Really? Even 64-bit computers? They still use zero-page addressing? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. But I don't know. You would know better. <laughs> um, so we're going on to our first uh, game of the night. It's the Boulder Dash Engine. It is a game because you can do things and you can die in it. Yeah. And you can progress levels. Okay. Um, so Andrew Davy posted about this on April 5th, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, and this build is from today. He updated, uh, he's been updating me with newer, newer, newer builds. Um, if you don't know who Andrew Davy is, he, uh, worked on Boulder Dash for Thomas Yench. Uh, he's working on a game Chess, also Sokobu mm -hmm. and Cube, which we did play as mm -hmm. well on this show. Um, and he's worked on a bunch of the Atari Age holiday carts as well, 2003, 2004, and Atari Age Christmas greeting cart. Nice. And a ton of demos. He's me. Yeah. And he's in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Excellent. if you do have any questions about the technology or anything behind what we're going to show, yep. just type them in the chat. And he, QB, I pronounced it QB. I was corrected. I, it's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like QB, and that's the natural thing to go for, but I, I believe it's Cube. And you jump around. It's like Qbert with moving platforms mm. and enemies, and it's it's like a flat Qbert. It's very cool. Um, so he sent a binary for us to play, and he said, "Don't look at this one." Okay. Before the show. Okay. Um, <laughs> so there's something in it dangerous. that uh, very dangerous is yeah. a surprise, <laughs> and and I was able to look at earlier ones and kind of play around okay. with them, and practice them. Okay. Um. So his original post was on April 5th. He said, 10 years after the original Boulder Dash, we now have new technologies and understanding of the machine. And I thought rather than continue to use the original engine, I'd have a go at developing a new one for future versions of Boulder Dash. The IP owners BBG Enter uh, Entertainment has kindly allowed me to demonstrate videos of the engine as it's being developed. Just to be clear, this is not a rewrite of the original version. Mm. And we will not be revisiting these original caves with this engine. The new engine gotcha. is targeted for a possible future version of the game. Possible. Mm -hmm. And we all know how I lose interest in stuff at about 85% complete. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so don't hold your breath. Very experimental at this stage. For those who are inevitably going to ask about the promised re-release of Boulder Dash number one, that is still in the pipeline. So they're planning on re-releasing the first boulder dash because it was a limited run run yeah of, cool. of cartridges um we're just moving extremely slowly on this and still lining up all the things that need to be lined up the project's not dead uh, but that project is not this project to be super duper clear this new engine is totally unrelated to the original and in any case it's not going to be ready for yonks mm -hmm. if ever he is australian mm -hmm. and he says uh De tasmanian, tasmanian. Ah. Yep. Um, so keep in mind that this is new technology and experimental only. Here's where I'm going to be posting updates to demonstrate little bits of stuff as I develop. I'm going to try and tackle some of the shortcomings of the original that have bothered me. Um, and then he uh, goes on to some of the technical stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is now load it up and then dive into the technical background of what we're seeing on the screen. Uh, so I'm going to hand you the controller and it's so advanced that it's mm -hmm. oh, it's just for uh, Stella right now. Okay. Um, so, so soon advanced. it'll be working uh, nice. for the uh, actual hardware. But we're going to load this up right now. Get it ready. Let's see. Older dash engine. Okay. We're ready. Now. I not have cartridge graphics? I should. Damn it. Yeah, it's there. Just not on the yeah, screen. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not on the screen. Just not on the screen. I don't know why it won't. Oh. It's not. Oh. It should be on the screen. Now it's on the screen on the left. Oh. oh, was it? Yes, it was. There. Oh, that's not the right. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. That's okay, good. Because I made I made graphics for it, so we're going <laughs> to see the graphics. I'm going to see the graphics. Okay, here we go. And make sure I'm focused on the right thing. There you go. Very cool. Oh, 
Oh, it's me! It's, <laughs> it's me from the Zero Page game. It's modeled after. <laughs> I don't know if I have a shirt like that, though. A red and white. Oh, my hair goes into the brick. Does it? <laughs> Go down one. Go down one. No, no. Just have a very flat head. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> totally forget the mechanics of this game don't get squished that's, oh is that is the that the mechanics. thing that's expanding continuously that's the slime. oh i'm dead already that's okay you are much better at this game you know the mechanics much better than i uh I'm oh and, and they're better. butterflies yeah very nice very very nice okay is this something that will kill me so out <laughs> okay that's one of the things okay oh, okay i okay, i can start over don't move. if you want no that's yeah. fine okay it's fine oh my god look at do you see what he did? Don't touch. <laughs> That's so funny. He's pushing his hair That's back. That's awesome. Great weight animation. He's blinking as well. That's so awesome. Oh my God. That's so funny. <laughs> and it's random. Oh my God, Andrew. That's, That's so, so funny. That's so good. Okay. One of the most amazing things that this game has. Okay. So you press the button or you hold the button. Oh, nice. It has... So you can see what's coming a up. A mini-map. And not just a mini-map, a live mini-map. That's awesome. Not just a live mini-map. You can move in this mini-map. So keep the That's button amazing. held down and press up. Oh, look at that. <gasps> That's amazing. So you can actually play it this way. Yeah, you no You can play kidding. the whole game in that mini-map. And everything on the screen is represented as small tiny little tiles and they're all animated that's amazing and they're all active and moving it's unbelievable okay so let's get into some background while you fumble about mm -hmm. um this uses cdfj bank switching he said i initially started uh this just to learn and understand exactly what cdfj is and how it works. The reasons are several. Firstly, I'm going to be talking about some technology, and particularly, if I'm going to offer opinions about that technology, then it's best that I actually have some experience using it and know what I'm talking about. My views are changing all the time on ARM stuff. Um, as I wrote to Albert recently, I'm got to thinking some time back, is Champ Games really so much better than me in terms of capability? In particular, when I read that Galagon took six weeks to program from Go to Woe, <laughs> and they have something like five games in partial stages of completion, I thought, wow, next level. Continuing, considering Boulder Dash took most of eight plus years to develop. Mm. Um, so, in looking at CDFJ, uh, that was mostly just to understand how it works, but also to build up some skills if I need to use it. And more particularly, if I was going to make any comments or criticisms of it, and the game's using it, then it would be really best to understand what I was talking about. So, I uh, set about a few tests, and before you know it, I had the chess scrolling play field with a six sprite routine on top. So, if anybody had not seen the thread of him working on his chess game, it is crazy. He has a, a chess board, and then he has a movable six sprite wide head floating up and down of, uh, what, what is his name? What's the, the champion, chess champion? The, oh, so many. Bobby Fisher? It was Bobby Fisher, yeah. Yes. Um, I think, I think so. I didn't say the name here. Uh, never done before, and in my view, impossible without co-processor support. That pretty much cemented my view in that those programs CDFJ really do have a significant advantage over those programming with most non-ARM bank switching schemes. I'm dead. And that makes... Oh, look at all those diamonds! That's okay, I died. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's, I believe, six different uh, boards on this. So oh. just keep going. Keep going. Um, aren't I dead? Keep going. Just press well. the button. Uh, or are you dead? Do I have to reset? Oh, I thought it reset um, automatically, but I will do it myself. Okay. There you go. Ooh. Tetris! Wow! Did you see it? Press the button. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Is that Tetris? That's got to be an homage to Tetris, right? With the boulders. Oh, can't cut that one out. Can't cut any of them out. What am uh, I doing here? Oh, yeah. you can just leave. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Oh, gosh. Um, 
Uh, is this game for 2600 or 7800? It is a 2600 game. We're right. We're. I added this in because I wanted to show it right away, even though it's a 7800 night and I am wearing a 7800 shirt. Do not be deceived. Um, uh, but be, but more, when I decided to see what Boulder Dash would look like with a scrolling play field, I had all screens pretty much fully functional in well under a week. Just a couple of days, really. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, the overview screen that took me a half an hour to program. Wow. What? He did this in a half an hour. It's amazing. Like, press the button down. Like, you could play... Like, this could be any game. Like, there's so many games you could make with this small, small, pixelized version of of the game. Um, like, he, he's using a sprite for your character, for mm. the player character. But the rest of it is single pixel play field. Um... There's no comparison really in terms of complexity in programming ARM and C versus 6507 uh, ASM assembly. So yes, I guess I'm embracing CDFJ because the only one who suffers from not doing so is me. Others will use it. Then the loving public will say how those new CDF James, uh, CDFJ games are the best ever and how brilliant programs are, are and all that. Resistance is useless. And if I want to make the best games possible, then I'll have to be on that bandwagon. So uh, he says, it, "Did this restart itself, or did you?" Uh, you died, right? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> oh! oh! It's the two kitties. Press the button. Oh, it's the kitties with blinking eyes. <laughs> oh, so cute. Uh, the Chrono Color technology was developed in stages around 2003, and of course released in Boulder Dash from 2011. Now, um, now don't move for a second. No, don't move. Okay. Now, if you if you don't, if you're not familiar with um, a chrono color um, mm -hmm. that Andrew Davy developed, if you look at the screen, mm -hmm. it is divided in threes. Mm -hmm. It's not obvious right away. Not no, don't don't go to that one. Um, it's easier to see on this one. Mm. It's divided in threes, lines of threes, and the lines of three are essentially red, green, blue. Yes. But you can change the red, the green, and the blue to anything you want. So if you look on this screen, it's a combination of kind of an orange and a green and uh, a kind of a lighter blue. Hmm. And if you look at the diamonds, they are a combination, if they're not flashing, of the, the orange amazing. and the green. Yeah, yeah, making yeah. Making them kind of yellowish. Yes, yes, kind of yes. Shiny goldish. And the boulders are orange, but with a shade of blue at the top and green as mm. well. And if you uh, look at even the overview, is the same a combination of colors. Mm -hmm. So stop pressing button, please. Um, I and just if you look see at the screen, <laughs> <laughs> if you look at me, I'm a, I'm a sprite. So, yeah. um, and he just recently changed that from in this one because it was a surprise um, to a sprite. Um, and you see the butterfly, it may mm -hmm. not be a butterfly, I'm not familiar with all the characters in this, but it's also a combination of the blue and the green mm -hmm. and then the orange in the middle. And each of the levels, I'm going to go to another level. Is Gray, blue, brown, Andrew Davey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it depends on your screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is a purple, dark purple, light purple, pink, and a green. Mm. combination uh, giving it a another different look to it mm -hmm. and he's personalized with zph mm. as well <laughs> which is just awesome mm. and we go to this one yeah and it's a combination of you can see the colors it fills in red and orange mm -hmm. and a light blue as well it's very very cool okay mm -hmm. which one do you want to play mm. tetris that one looks like a little bit more easy well i'm not really sure what Get diamonds, go to exit. I mean, there's no minimum diamonds on this, I believe. That, that stuff that fills so in, though, that'll kill me. Uh, it'll fall on you. No, the blue. The blue that's filling in. Uh, what is it? The it slime or you. the amoeba or whatever it is. It may kill you. I'm not really sure. Um, I wish I had the chat up. Uh, go left. Oh, too late already. I think he, he, I, he does want us to go to the ZPH one. Okay. He says go 
left and up and around. Don't get those diamonds because they're blocking the slime from getting out. So go left, up, and around. Um, so, Chronicolor technology was de developed in stages around 2003 and, of course, uh, released in Boulder Dash from 2011. The difference is with CDFJ that the entire screen can be redrawn every single frame using the ARM processor to do the memory management and actual draw. There's a concept called abstraction. That's what's going on here. Whereas the 2600 hardware is a tricky beast, and particularly those pesky PF registers that are quite literally arse backwards. You know, some of them are drawn backwards. They flip all the time. Uh, the actual 6507 code uh, consists of just copying bytes from buffers and placing them in PF registers. And the left and the right screen share the same uh, memory location. So if you want to draw something on the right-hand side that's different from the left, you have to put it into the right memory locations to draw the right-hand side of the screen. So if you don't want a reflected uh, play field, you have to... Oh, did I'm you really switch? Terrible. Well, I got to... I don't oh, know. I don't end. know what I'm doing. Okay, just play. Because I know it's fine. usually you go after the gems and you have to get a certain number of them, yeah. but I don't think he has that But this is more to show off what Yeah. Oh, what yeah. Done. Yeah. Um... Uh, a little more cool. than that, just plain load, store, load, store, load, store for the entire screen. It's the ARM CDFJ code's job to put the correct data into those buffers. So in a way, the operation of the hardware has been abstracted from the hardware and becomes a simple block copy. Now we put the onus on filling those buffers with the correct data into the draw routines in the ARM code. One thing the ARM does well is bit shifting. So those PF registers, or more particularly the buffers abstracted from them, are easily filled with the data appropriate shifts on the fly. So... The ARM does the fast work, and the 6507 does the slow work, That uh, and you're using the ARM to fill in the information as quickly as possible, and there's tons of time when you're using the ARM. Oh, you're you much better it. at this game than I am. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as that. Um, there is another thing as well that's going on that I'll get to later that people may have noticed or may have noticed. Oh, dead already. Oh, no. I wonder if you have to do that really quick. Uh, so when I did the recent Bobby Fischer de demo displaying a six sprite routine on top of a scrolling asymmetric play field, I realized I wasn't far, far off from seeing how it would look with Boulder Dash graphics instead of chess pieces. And if you notice, there's no flicker on this whatsoever. It's mm. a solid screen. Um, so I went ahead with that. Before you know it, I was thinking about the limitations of Boulder Dash 1 with the chunky and slow 4-pixel scroll. And in a few days, I had a demo up and running showing how smooth scrolling with Boulder Dash graphics. So if you notice, he's doing very nice scrolling here. Instead of a whole chunk over, mm. he's doing... Ch -ch 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 -ch. So go to the right. Up and down isn't showing it. I don't know if you can get, go to the right anywhere except way down. But we'll, we'll show you that. Uh, <laughs> I went through a few iterations using multi-frame chrono color, uh, but eventually I abandoned that and went back to the original single frame implementations. No flicker, still visually appealing, pleasing. Uh, one thing led to another. I found myself writing, oh. <laughs> ah, there's the kitties. Yeah. You okay. Master the kitties level. They're they're expanding on the top. So there's diamonds all along the top. So just go up and around what and are get th those diamonds. Well, there's diamonds on the bottom too. Is there? I don't know. Isn't there? No. There. Oh mm -hmm. no, those are boulders. So Where are the diamonds? The sparklies at the top, all along the top. No, those top, are, that's top, expanding. Top. Oh. No, that's think... not. That's not what it is. Oh, isn't it? You're very silly. Oh, okay. There's no diamonds. You have to make diamonds. I have to make them. By dropping boulders on them. Oh, oh or I think also if the oh. slime touches certain things. Um, one I'm one concern I have, and I'm not sure how to address this, is that people will conflate this engine with the upcoming Whoa. Boulder Dash release. How did I turn them all into boulders? Uh, they hit something. They touch something. Oh, that's funny. That version is from 2011. is a remarkable piece of code, probably a hundred times more complex than the CDFJ engine. There's a reason it took eight years to develop. The system systems are mind-boggling in complexity. The original engine is a beauty and it still delivers excellent results. Don't squish yourself. I will. That's how this game works. Don't you know, get them one at a time. Hey, get out of there. Get, 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 get. Um, 
Uh, it's not my intention for this new engine in my way to distract, uh, detract from Boulder Dash 1. Uh, one has to put things into context, and that is still an excellent and beautiful imp. Yeah, stay right there. It's, it's like, if you have something above your head, you're fine. So if you go up, you're going to be fine. How do, how do I... Uh... Okay, let go. You can see. No, I, I, I get it. Now, you're... now I'm screwed. Not if you go down and over quick. Well, not that far over, but you made it. Yay! <laughs> um, will it become a new Boulder Dash 1? No. <gasps> oh, that was fun. <laughs> but in the long run... If I ever become interested in formal development of, say, Boulder Dash 2, then I would definitely use this engine. So did you go up and around on this level? No. To the top? No. Oh, because I wanted you to. Okay. Well, so I don't know. What go am to I ZPH. supposed to be doing? Okay. Go to the left. Yeah. Up and around, he said. Okay, sure. Let's see if that works. Um, but there's a long way to go yet. For example, I'm currently using too much processor time to draw and, this, uh, and screen management. I get away with this in Stella because it's not strict about how much time I have to do to ar for ARM code. I'm probably 20 times over time. Wow. Which sounds disastrous, but actually not. Because I'm doing the whole shebang in every single frame. In the vertical blank of each frame. But I don't need to do that. There's free time in the yeah. overscan, effectively doubling the available time. And the actual frame rate, around 7 hertz, means I have about 8 frames to do all the work. So 8 times 2 equals 16 more time available. See, that's almost 20. So I still need to do a few tricks and magic, but it's workable. And in the original Boulder Dash, he used kind of a time slicing thing where he didn't need to do everything all at once because it's not like a live action game. It's more of a movement, like things happen in their own time. Um, now, what's the big differences? The innovations. One, the overview screen. So if you can click on the overview screen. Mm -hmm. This is, if you remember uh, John Champo's game, uh, uh, Robot War, mm -hmm. and his implementation of the grunts, where mm -hmm. they were single pixel playfield characters moving around. Very similar to what he has done here, where the whole play field is covered in grunts, right? Single pixel uh, characters, single pixel wide. I mean, they're four pixels, but single pixel play field uh, covering the whole screen, which is astounding amount of data happening right mm -hmm. here. Because you effectively have to store X by Y in the whole thing and what they are. So that's a lot of, of data. Uh, the overview screen, one pixel graphics. Who would have thought it would work so well? It does. It's, it's amazing. Oh. oh, right into it. Uh, number two, the graphics, in particular animations. I can afford more, not just AB, AB toggling like the original, but actually multi-frame animations. Butterfly is an example. Diamond is a sparkling example. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm here all week, folks. And uh, I mean, I'm drawn, like I, me, in the game, <laughs> I'm drawn with uh, 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 a sprite, so he doesn't really count in terms of that. No, <laughs> run, you have to run. I have to go faster. Run, you want to do that one again? Sure. What was it? That one. That one. Um, number three, smooth scrolling. Well, yes, smooth in two ways. It's pixel scrolling. So that's super smooth and nice. But it's also drawing the entire screen in one frame. Whereas the original Boulder Dash could only draw four or so squares per frame. So it did an update of only those that have changed over multiple frames. Run! <laughs> uh, when you had a, a screen full of boulders, for example, then the system slowed its frame rate to draw everything. I don't know how you smush that stuff. Uh, I'm just going to die. <laughs> Oh, there. Oh, there. you can just touch it. Oh, funny. Oh, oh my God. It's and then all it falling. blocks the entry. Oh. oh, nope. Nope. You're still good. Yeah, but there's nothing to get. Clearly, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, I mean, you would have. <laughs> you have to crush them to generate diamonds. I don't know. They're all gone. They all, so you touch it and they turn into boulders. I think you have to lead them over mm. and then crush them, maybe. 
Uh, the new engine doesn't. Everything's at 60 hertz now. So number four, better, better colors. This comes from abandoning the concept that I'm implementing a copy of the Boulder Dash games from the C64 and Atari 400-800. I've given myself complete freedom to be creative here and have chosen things that look good to my eye. I don't particularly care what the co colors of the originals were because he's not making Boulder Dash. He's not trying to replicate Boulder Dash. So he's making an engine that just looks good. So there's no reason to... So what you want to do, I think, go up and around and just drop all those boulders on them. Mm. If you can. I mean, it's tough because they're also moving around. Yeah. No, I can't. Yeah. Um, you could let them out the bottom. Well, what happened last time? Didn't they all turn into boulders? Because I touched the slime? Oh, yeah, the slime. But I over. touched it. You touched the slime. Yeah. Mm. Um, I've given myself... Blah, 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 blah. Hey, kill me? Don't chew things. I don't particularly... Uh, this is new, an exploration of what's possible. One of the biggest issues Thomas and I, I had on uh, Boulder Dash 1 was agreement on colors. Uh, we never did agree. Just as my grandmother used to say, agree to differ. Yeah. So what should you call it? Well, I like to think of it as Boulder Dash Engine. So it's not a Boulder Dash game. It's an engine that uh, could be used for any number of types of games that would work well for this. And I, any kind of a game that can work in this kind of resolution, and I can think of just tons of types of games mm -hmm. that can work in this resolution. And we were talking... Oh, Andrew Davies talking to us. We can't see your... Uh, chat very well unfortunately let me switch over to this um so he wants us to stick on a screen and follow his instructions because he wants us, <laughs> he wants to, us do... to do it properly yes <laughs> so i'm just playing around because he's talking so yeah so now we're going to do that okay <laughs> so you tell us which one to pick yeah the chat laptop is down unfortunately yeah zph screen okay okay so he wanted you to go up and around so if you could give the next instruction after that and i'll log in on my tablet here so that i can see it's gonna, it's gonna make a lot of noise in a second there we go. Mm -hmm. now go left and up to the entrance in the middle oh just go down over to the entrance there? yep okay uh sit there blocking the entrance so block the entrance down down, down one. block the entrance there you go and wait. So go to the overview screen so we can see more. So it's the slime is filling up yeah, everything. So it doesn't kill you. Even even the dirt. So it doesn't kill you, but it's... Uh, and so we'll see what happens when it... Probably when it, it, it can't expand anymore. Hi. Hi. Are you here to see what the slime does? Yes, he is. Is it going to explode everything? Oh, I think it's stuck. Almost. Oh, two more. Two more to go. Right I around the Z. I love sparkling. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Oh, it is. Sparkles. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. It's amazing. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, now don't kill yourself. Oh, I will. So that's how rows, this works. Rose, rose, rose. Very nice. And look at the sparkling on the diamonds. On the overview and also when you have it close up. It's mm. just incredible. Because he's used the uh, the green oh, I can't see. the green and the <laughs> I think it's just the green that he's used to, to do the sparkles. And it's and it and it's not just a single frame of animation. He's going up from the bottom right to the top and mm -hmm. not all the diamonds are sparkling at once mm -hmm. so it gives this random shimmering effect to it it's just incredible I'm gonna get and you can in. still tell what everything is from the overview <clears throat> and another thing he uh three colors a b c diamonds are normally a b but i get to use the sparkles uh use the colors a b c yeah it's 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 incredible so let's see if you can get all the diamonds without I can't, killing yourself. I can't because that left-hand side, I think that would have killed me if I had gone up there. 
on the left can... side. No, oh. No, because I, I had to drop. Oh. I'm, I'm sure there's a way, but... Um... Yeah. No, you can't get there now because there's boulders. Hi. Uh, this might be good for a low runner demake too. So much potential. Um, it would be amazing for hmm. RPGs, any number of RPGs, because you could draw the background, uh, the chunkier background in Playfield, um, and you could draw the uh, the rest of it, like anything you want with a lot more detail with the player characters. And, you know, if you have more than two on a line, then you do some flicker, go down to 20 hertz. Oh, or, nope. That doesn't work. <laughs> I told you, I don't play this game. You want to do it right, you can play it. <laughs> All the screens I give you have methods for finishing. Yeah, I figured, I figured they do. It says you've done well. <laughs> if you just wander around, you tend to die. Yeah. So let's try and do this one. This one's a bit more open. Yeah, I, I can get to a certain point here. I'm trying to figure out what to do with those butterflies, but I'm not good with, like, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I don't know all the strategy for another triggering one, the butterflies, so. Another one I was, I would really love to see ported is uh, Rogue. And we were watching a video on that the other night. I was showing you Rogue. Mm -hmm. It was programmed originally in ASCII, but this, this would be uh, absolutely perfect for it. Um, because it... Uh, don't destroy my t-shirt, please. No. No. Okay, you have three groups of butterflies. You need to get past each group. Yeah, I can get past the first one. So if you open up that top while they're not there, mm. or open up the bottom... It's actually not that hard. I've already done this. I've already oh, gotten past okay. this. Okay. This... Because you let them into there and they just go and wander, right? Ah. There we go. Yeah, don't power it's through. Not Think what about I... it. No, because I, I moved the wrong way, so that okay. sucks. That didn't work That's out. That's calling you. Yeah, no, I'm dead anyway. Uh, That's not. I. I. I, I <laughs> okay, do this one. No, what's the point of doing a level? Of, go oh, back to the other one. Okay. Yeah. There. No, because I've gotten past them. Though those ones aren't that hard. <laughs> Andrew Davies said I could see that coming. So yeah. did I. I. Was like, no, you're gonna go down and kill yourself. What? What were you? You missed one. No, no, you dro you drop the boulder, so you run across oh. and drop the boulder, and it blocks them on the oh. other half. So I've I've done that already, but it's then getting past the next section. In this screen, you ha screen you have to block off the top section. Yeah. By dropping boulders on the left and right side, or on maybe the left and right side. Blocking the amoeba. Oh, he's talking about another screen. Oh. Hi, cat. Hi, cat. Um. So, this is an incredible game engine that can be used for so so many things so which boulder do you have to drop so no you just need to get past and you run across and then you drop a boulder but but i moved down oh, is it that boulder no oh no but it's i think it's easier if you go i was like panicking <laughs> the amoeba is so troublesome that boulder oh perfect so yep. that's easy nice. enough. But I'm not sure getting past here. So the next ones aren't for there. And maybe there. maybe this is not the right way. Maybe I'm supposed to go down on the on the other side. Uh you could. Because right now I've blocked myself, but maybe Well you don't need to get back up again. No, no, but if I go back around then those guys get oh, released. Yeah, don't go back That's all around I'm saying. Then. But if I I can't really go down and around without killing myself. Yep, yeah, go down and then just move to the side. Immediately. Where? Get those two and move to the right immediately. There you go. That's fine too. Then go it's to gonna left. fall. No. Nope. They're gonna you're, fall. Go to the left. You're fine. There, I'm fine. And then go to the right, and you're fine too. And then how do I get around on the other side? Then it's gonna fall. You can still go down the right, but you have to move over to the left immediately, or it's okay. gonna crush you. Right. So you just have to get out of the way of the boulder. So I can go here, yep. and then it's going to crush me. One more, it'll crush you, but move over. There. Okay. Yeah. It, it is called Boulder Dash. Yes, Splendid yes, nuts. yes, yes, yeah. It's not called uh, uh, Boulder Weight. <laughs> I don't know. Boulder uh, Weight. Boulder Weight. Uh, boulder Strategy. That's it. Uh, let's see if I, I have some more notes as well from the 
the screen reveal. That's another technology he didn't include in the, the main notes. Um, he says, the screen is uncovered as the scroll positions to the player. So if you played in the over map and then let it scroll to you, actually in the opening, you can see as it's scrolling, it's filling in the blanks. And we'll show that when we uh, change over the next time. Uh, he says, the screen is uncovered as the scroll positions to the player. This was absent in Boulder Dash 1. I recall that it was too hard. Thomas recalls that we ran out of space. In any case, I found an elegant solution that this is only required uh, one bit per cell, and it was easy to implement. Oh, another, another troublesome area. Do you have to figure out which boulder to drop to block them? There's one diamond up there. Hmm. Um, oh, I thought it would fall. That's uh, run, not helpful. Run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> That's not helpful. I thought it would fall to the left, but I guess So not. watch when I sh change screens. Yeah. Watch, watch when it goes to this. Yeah. It fills in mm -hmm. as it... As it uh, and I think if you go like this, I think it does the same thing. No. Okay. Let me try that again. So if I move and don't let it switch to that screen, mm. I move down here, it'll yeah. fill it in. And I mean, there is a scrolling mechanism as well. Let's see. Is it right when it loads up? I thought there was a scrolling, like when you... I don't think so. No. Okay. I thought it moved and did it at the same time. Which one do you want to do now while I read? Whichever one. Do that one. Well, I don't know what I'm doing with this one. It's this one, fine. you just walk to the exit. <laughs> this is the one where you touch it and it... No. It, if you touch it, it kills you. The slime? Well, go try it. Or the it. blue. Go over and try it. And we can go back to this one. Nope. It does not. That does. Yeah. So you have to drop boulders on them to get them to change into the diamonds, but they don't kill you. So you have to get... So what you could do is wait till it comes around and then drop the boulders from each of those on them. See as it fills up, but it may only need dirt. Not sure. Um, now in the overview screen, uh, I'm going to, this is not a good example for it, but the last note I have on this is uh, a few changes. I've gone to this checkerboard idea where object shapes are based on which square. Oh, dead. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go to an overview. This one. So hold the button. Mm -hmm. So you can see the, um, the dirt as it's across the screen. Mm -hmm. He actually from line to line changes the representation of what the dirt is. Because if you see the boulder areas, they're like solid chunks, which works for boulders. Mm -hmm. That looks really nice. But if all the blue were exactly the same side by side, it wouldn't look very visually appealing. So what he's done is staggered the look of the dirt every mm -hmm. vertical horizontal line. Like there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so it looks just absolutely amazing. This uh, idea being pieces side by side, one pixel world are impossible to tell apart. Think of a roll of boulders or butterflies. Now I choose a different image to display on if the object is on a white or black location on the board, like a chessboard. Uh, so now for most objects, this makes no difference. Same shape is used, but for the ground, for example, compare the ground of the video with the image of the post above, which I just showed you. Uh, another place I've used this is in the shape of the boulder. Uh, when there's a huge block of boulders, well, it doesn't look like a huge block of boulders, more like a splodge. So I use odd even parity on the boulder shape just by one scan line. The effect that it's each side by side boulder is a different color, but because I use a different shape, each two frames, both colors are displayed so the boulders shimmer at 30 hertz. Was there a shimmer? Press the button. I think he's changed that since then. I think he's just updated it to its, it's a static. So uh, I think we've explored uh, a lot of stuff. I mean, uh, we're not great at this game. No. So, <laughs> well, I, I don't play it very much at all. So Let me go back to my Twitch. Ah. Where's my Twitch? There it is. 
Let's see. Uh, oh, he's giving. <laughs> I change stuff every day. He's, he's, boulders are now splodges. He's gone back to splodges. Splodges, for a bit. But they're enough. fine, because it looks like that's a bunch of boulders. Yes. And, it, and it's very recognizable. Yeah. And it's good the dirt is staggered. And uh, all those enemies flashing. Yeah, I think are, that looks great. Are so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the diamonds, you can see they're, they're flashing as well. Just everything is so good. Uh, so I think, uh, that's you good. Play? No, I'm nope. good. I'll okay. play it later. <laughs> we'll, we'll play, I'll play, play it. it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll play, play it, um, on another date. Yeah. Um, but this is, this is incredible. And I love the pixel and Atari <laughs> cats. <laughs> they're like, uh, they're like, uh, Egyptian shrines. It's just gorgeous. It's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> and they're watching the little butterflies in yeah. the middle. And uh, ZPH, that's awesome. And you can see, wait, go back to the ZPH. You can see the boulder falls yeah. and it's timed to yep. hit the butterfly. So that it, it blocks the, uh, yeah, the bottom. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Yeah, very, very cool. Uh, Nostalgic 20, actually I had a question for Andrew Davey mm. from uh, Facebook. And it's from Sheldon Sims. Uh, hopefully the Boulder Dash engine will be available digitally. It could, it could become Boulder Dash construction kit for the Atari 2600. Mm. Boulder Dash construction kit was hugely popular back in the day. Um, so, Andrew, are you thinking of making... Like, what, what are your future plans for this? Are you considering uh, sharing the source for the way this is drawn? Or are you considering making something like boulder dash construction kit but it's not boulder dash you could pick like maybe different different types of creatures and different looks to them um not sure what could be done oh oh because i touched, touched them. them they all turned to rock now you're in trouble i don't think you're getting out of that no i don't think so uh let's go back to that one um so there is a, a question for you uh he says, uh, yes, but it's up to BBG, the, uh, the people who own the rights to Boulder Dash. And that would be really, really amazing if you can make a Boulder Dash construction kit and you can save your designs on, say, the Atari Vox. Or thinking how would a... <laughs> I don't... Like a uh, QR code, <laughs> you a could QR code. you could output a QR code. No, you could do that. That's a great use for it. Okay, you make a screen in the construction kit, right? The Boulder Dash construction kit, whatever it is. You're done your your design. Then you go to output, and it would put a QR code or a series of QR codes on the screen. Mm -hmm which then you could put into a website or a compiler, then that would output your level. Or you could share the QR code outputs on uh, the Atari Age forums. Mm. And other people could play your game by scanning in the QR code somehow. Yeah, or use safety, of course. Um, but... Uh, like if you look at the size of the screen, it would be quite a bit of data, but I'm not sure what they could, what you could compress it down to. I'm sure Andrew Davy has a very good idea of how, how much you can compress the data of a full Boulder Dash screen down to. Uh, typically a screen could be defined in about a hundred bytes, give or take. Well, that is, I don't know how high up a 25 by 25, uh, no. That would exit. Okay. Um, 25 by 25 could go up to, I don't know if it was up to 100 bytes, but you could do two QR codes and a 25 by 25 definitely covered it. So I think it was up to 70 or 80. Yeah, that would be very, very cool. Um, and I don't know how much a save key That's holds what or what the reserved <laughs> space in a save key, mm -hmm. but then you'd have to still get it out of the system somehow, unless you just wanted to keep your game to yourself, right? If you just save it to a save key, that's just on the save key. Yeah, that's true. You have to get it out onto the internet <laughs> to compile something or for somebody to make uh, a compilation of levels. But that's uh, very, very cool. 
Look at that bubbly screen. I know. <laughs> oh, it's so amazing that each oh, creature ding. has its own. I like that the game still keeps playing even yeah. though I've died. It, it just keeps going. <laughs> it does. Don't it? it you are doing irrelevant a thing to the to the to the, ro the, the world. Ecosystem it's so of this true. World. It now can, it's fully. fully it can done, live on. But it's it's funny. Yeah. It's very funny. So thank you so much, Andrew, for uh, letting us demonstrate. Yeah. Uh, this a lot of this work. <laughs> new technology that I yeah. can see being used in oh, infinite tons. number of game engines mm -hmm. um, because you have a decent variety of colors mm. like you have red green blue and then red green red blue blue green red green blue mm. so that's I don't know, six what is it it's eight something like that um <laughs> and then you see the black in behind or whatever color you're, yeah. you want it to be on that line that's very cool um and then on top of that you can have whatever number of player characters on the screen too and then add flicker as you want it um and then this uh oh i've already clicked off it and then this overview world too provides a whole different environment to make games in like I can see playing games in this type of screen. I don't know what type of games, but mm -hmm. <laughs> you could play like funny, like little, little tiny games, yeah. uh, and, and in it has the such screen. high resolution. Mm -hmm. Especially if you also put in little sprites, because mm -hmm. your your guy is a sprite, and yeah. you can do that too. It's just amazing. Single pixel play field. Yeah. So you have. Um, 40 by whatever vertical tall you want. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Uh, do Conway's Game of Life. Oh, yes, you could do Game of Life with this. Uh, a high priority for me. I love life. <laughs> <laughs> or the Mandelbrot set visualization. Yeah. You can do tons of things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't have that on the screen. Okay, we are moving on to 7,800 games. Oh, that's such a heavy controller. Oh, my God. So let's go to the first one, which is Serpentine. Mm. And I I didn't do it on purpose, but we have two maze games today. I like maze games. They're, they're slightly different maze yeah. games. So. Are they dark maze games? Uh, no. <laughs> There's no dark maze, thankfully. Um, it should be. Uh, you like dark maze games? I don't mind them. You're the one who seems to... Uh... They're torturous. <laughs> Torturous. So the first game is made by Mike Sarna, uh, which is uh, Revenge. And it is Serpentine, and it came out a couple years ago. Load it up. Hey, Atari. Hi, buddy. There we go. 7,800. Hmm. Come on. What is happening? Don't see it. Oh, you don't see it. No. I see it just fine. Reset it. <laughs> yeah, we see it. Yeah, they don't see it. They don't see it. It's not coming up. Hello? What's happening? <laughs> wakey, wakey. What is happening? I'll switch to it live so that we, I can fix it as we go. Uh, Weird. Don't see it yet. Hmm. Let's restart it again. I think I'm gonna have to unplug the capture device if this doesn't work. Nope. Okay. Reboot the capture device. Oh, silly capture devices. Being There's a frog. Naughty. There is a frog in this, and you get to eat it. You eat the as frog. A snake, and it makes you longer. Ah, oh, cute. This should do it usually does yep there we go hooray okay so this is serpentine it is from 2016 mm -hmm. it's 128k uh revenge has brought you games such as time salvo which is awesome mm -hmm. um naughty list a little miss it uh 2k and miss it uh atari vox speak and spell which we've used that was fun mm -hmm. that's what the announcements for uh the uh, oh. signing up and following. Oh, and you recorded it off of that. Yep. I did oh, May 21 Blue and cool. Christmas Adventure as well. Nice. So this actually comes from a Apple II game. 
So let's take a look at the Apple II game first. Cool. And so you can see where this game came from. <laughs> nice, gentle, easy screens to make it more fun for Tanya. Yes, uh, for... <laughs> I just, I just don't know, I don't know that, that game very well, because we've played Boulder Dash a few times. It's just... But it's, it's the... It's challenging. The physics, you just have to remind yourself of the physics of how the boulders fall. Like, once you get the hang of that, it gets easier, but I yes. just don't play it very much, and I never played that game Neither growing up I. either, so I don't know it that well. So here is the original... Apple II version. Um, uh, it says Serpentine is a video game maze, ga video maze game written by Dave, uh, David Snyder for the Apple II and is published by Broader Bund in 1982. Mm -hmm. Serpentine's gameplay and visuals are similar to the Konami arcade game Jungler, released the previous year. It was ported to the Commodore 64 and Atari 8-bit family and a VIC-20 version was licensed to Creative Software. So, uh, Revenge said, I ported the classic computer game Serpentine from the from the uh, Atari 8-bit to the 7800. The port is playable and complete. So he was basing it on the Atari 8-bit, which I should be showing, but mm. this was the original one. So why not show the original? Uh, the port is playable and complete, though I may add some additional features to this game in the future. The game requires extra RAM and will use Pokey if found. And I do have Pokey. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the game, the goal is to eat the other serpents and avoid being eaten. Head-on collisions with snakes that aren't smaller than you mm -hmm. will result in death. I've noticed that already. So you can actually go after snakes that are smaller than you and just eat them. Yeah. That's but, cool. Uh, yeah, the but if they're bigger demo, than you, you're, you're they're going to eat you. You're going to eat you. Uh, you can grow by eating frogs, eggs, and smaller snakes head-on. Oh. Mm. Oh. No, we don't need to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to the 7800 version, and you can go for it. Nice music. Mm -hmm. That's simple music. Um, your egg only hatches at the end of a level, at which point it will give you an extra life. Until it hatches, your egg is vulnerable to being eaten by enemy snakes and frogs. So if you lay an egg, you have to protect your egg. Oh, got me right away. <clears throat> and you can eat their eggs. Yes. To grow. Um, so this uh, Atari Age had a copy of the game running at 2017 PRGE. And it was added to the Atari Age store on November 4th, 2018. Um, and I did post about this game when I first got the concerto card. Because the concerto currently keeps its white background <laughs> when you play mm. a game. Um, so if the game doesn't explicitly say change the background to blah, it'll take on the white background of the concerto card, and this was one of the games that doesn't redefine, um, which isn't a problem of the game itself, because the Atari 7800's uh, BIOS has a black default BIOS. So... Uh, it should always start out as black. Ah. Oh, he ch took a chomp out of you. Get that frog. Yeah. Oh, gone. Um, so I let him know, and he's like, well, it's not really a problem. Um, so I'm sure that will come in the next concerto update, which uh, there hasn't been a concerto update, which is, which is surprising. But I'm sure he is very busy working on it. Uh, does this work on the concerto cart? Yes, it does work on the concerto cart. You will get a white background. Uh, we're playing this on the Dragonfly cart where it works uh, works as expected. I don't have this on cartridge, but it's definitely a contender for me to buy it. We'll see how uh, see how much fun we have today with it. Uh, yeah, right now I'm using the Dragonfly for everything at the moment um, until there's an update because there's a lot of games that just don't work like they like you'd expect them to work. I have issues with Popeye and. Um, this game and another game that also has a white background, I think it was the Wizard's Dungeon, but he has forced a black background now, so it, it does work. Um, EXO doesn't work on the concerto. Um, 
And I think that's a memory memory constraints issue. Um, hoping for an update soon, pal. Users uh, so stuck with one per five, one to five percent chance of games working. Yeah. So hopefully there's uh, an update soon. And I'm sure it'll be quite a massive update because people have been posting, you know, issues. Uh -huh. Andrew Davies says the next demo I'm going to have nice, gentle, easy screens to mm -hmm. make it more fun for Tanya. Yeah, I already said that. <laughs> yeah, so be good ramp up, maybe. You know, screen number one, no enemies. Just collect some diamonds, a couple troublesome boulders, and then slowly add things in. Um, death happens if the stake is the same size of you. Oh, you can tell by the color of the enemy. Oh, so if it's white, you, you can, can definitely go after it. Yeah, but he can still kind of bite off of you. What is that pink He can egg? bite off you, but if you go head to head with him, that's their egg. Okay. So it just made a new snake. Oh, so it hatched. that's what it, the pink... So, ah. you, so you want to eat yeah. that hatching egg before it hatches. Oh, I could have gotten it then. Yes. I didn't realize that's what it was. My turn. The pink... No, I want another no. turn. I uh, just had one go. Uh, Completely unfair. Okay, press the button. Are you playing? No. Could this be updated to support Quadtari, or does the does Quadtari work on the 7800? The Quadtari does work on the 7800. Mm -hmm. Has anybody used it yet? Yeah. Didn't didn't somebody make a ton of games for the 7800? Quadtari. Didn't we d demo them? But yes, it does work. But you only get one button. It it works as the same as it works on the 2600. You don't get two buttons, so you have to keep that in mind. I mean, this game doesn't work, doesn't use any buttons, so it'd be a perfect contender to throw in like a co-op or a head-to-head -head mode. You could have two snakes. Mm. You could have uh, you could have four snakes. That'd be so awesome. Uh, you could, yeah, you could have all four snakes. I'm, pretty, I'm sure that's what you were referring to. All four snakes being controlled. Oh boy. Oh boy. Being controlled by uh, all, all four players. That would be amazing. And then you could have rounds. You know, whoever wins that round gets a point. Then you do it again and you have uh, three, five, seven rounds. That'd be awesome. Uh, Nostalgic says, sign of a good game. Wanting to play again. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's like, no, I want to play. Yeah. <laughs> I barely played. Now, oh, if got they me. get the frog, they get an extra yes, length as well. So you want to get the frog fairly quick. Yeah, but you, you can't always get to it. So. No. Yeah, I it's found very interesting, the uh, tactics here. Two strategies while I was just preparing for oh, the show. Yeah. One is to stay ahead of them, and then they eventually will turn. And then you turn around and go after them. Mm. Or you stay behind them and just keep catching up. See, there But you don't get and anything for eating eating something off them. I mean, I guess you're trying to get them you're small enough them. so that you can kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh, froggy. There you go. Yeah. There's no timer. So you can go forever, really. As long as you don't... Uh, well, you don't get cornered. Yeah. Feels harsh for level one. It's not easy, it, it's but not, it's not its not exactly hard. No. It's just, uh, it's the, just practice. figuring out the tactics for getting them. It's like... When they cross each other, it's really annoying, yeah. too. You don't want to be in the realm of two of them. You want to go after the lone one. It's kind of like Pac-Man, <laughs> but with long ghosts <laughs> and no dots and no power-ups. Oh, and then things turn. I guess the go. frogs are power-ups. Kind of. Yeah, sort of. You also lose your power. You can't eat your own egg. You have to protect your egg until it you? hatches. And it only hatches at the end of a round, so... Oh. Good luck with that. Jesus, why... Ah! See, Get it's going in the wrong direction. Get him now, It's... No, I... I oh, <laughs> so close. I like the ribbit sound nostalgic. Yeah, sounds, I do yeah. too. Oh, turn! This, hey, I went right past him. There we go. Um, yeah, the, the controls always bug me. Mm -hmm. 
Sure. They do. It might be a fork. When I go back and forth and back and forth, you're like, oh yeah, she's doing that purposefully. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I'm purposefully trying to turn up and then I keep going back and forth. Yep. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Mm. Just nibbled a little bit on you. Just got, just got the the, le the last little bit. <clears throat> Time to lay an egg. Oh, you're Why? tiny. Hey, I don't like it. You lose part of yourself. Ah, see. Mm. And now that guy just got me. It's always more oh. frogs. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing too well. Get those snakes. Oh. I think you're playing defensively rather than offensive. No, I'm trying to, but they. I think my problem is I think your tactic that you were talking about, which is stay ahead of them until they turn around, is cause... hard. But it there now turn around and get them because you are faster than them. I have to turn properly to be able to navigate the maze. Yeah, it is a uh... four-way joystick. Oh. Not. Uh, it's an four-way game not an eight-way game yeah so you have to precisely go hit, left hit down and up yeah. going up and left doesn't do anything no i think it does ah! like absolutely actually zero right yeah you don't go anywhere so you just keep going back and forth yeah. it's it's the kind of game where you have momentum mm. so if you if you don't turn yes. you keep going forward you, going. you don't stop revenge oh revenge is here hi Yay! revenge so he's ah, given a ah! uh, <laughs> Now it's my turn. Now it's so he's given a hint. Yeah. My personal strategy is to be cowardly and then eat them from behind until yeah. you've killed one of them. Yeah. Then it's easier to take out the other two more yeah. aggressively. Yeah. When you try to get the third. What determines when you lay an egg? Size, time passed. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I, I think it's time passed. Mm. He would know. Mm. So I'm going to go after one. Mm -hmm. Not where there's two of them. Yeah, when they they when they hang out together, you're like, ah, get away from each other. Come on, there we go. Nope. Nope. Yep. That's quite an interesting game. It is. Where's the other one? Is oh, he you got right him. on top Good of the job. other one? But he you is. have to he see. Was. You're getting them so fast. Um, but you want to get them from the front. You you don't get anything from getting them from behind. What? You don't get yes. points, you mean? No, you, you don't increase. See, now get them. There you go. Yeah, right. but I can only get them when they're, they're small from the yeah. front. Smaller than me. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer the old CX-40 style of joystick to that control deck? Is that the other, um... It's the old Atari joysticks. The, mm, the yeah, single... So much. Single no. Button. I hate them. They're so tiny and... I like the uh, other arcade stick box that we have. The smaller one? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Don't ask me why. Something about the travel or... Come here. Oh, there we go. Can I get there? Yep. Okay. Touch. Can you lay eggs to death? <laughs> Can you like die because you lay too many eggs? Or is know, minimum ah <laughs> cornered? Or is your minimum two? Mm -hmm. I bet it's two. You can't go smaller than two. Maybe you can just be ahead, ahead of a snake wandering around. That would be funny. Oh, it's too dangerous here. It's too yep. many. There we go. You can just get him from the front. Yeah, but I wasn't in a position to do that. Mm -hmm. But you could, I could have. Yummy. <laughs> eat, eat, be a cannibal, cannibal snake. Oh, can I get it? No, it doesn't matter. Oh. Go to the next level. Level three. No, oh, don't. You have two segments. You can lay an egg and die. Oh, can mm. you read that for me? What is happening? Yes, if you have two segments, you can lay an egg and die. What is happening? What is happening here? 
What was that? <laughs> oh, I, oh. Think, I think. I think it was just randomly wandering around. Yeah, because it was going back to the beginning. That's funny. It was like taking the long yeah. route. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Nope. Do not be there. <laughs> I thought it was like a bonus stage. It's like, oh, I have to redirect the fast snake to get the frogs and to get bonus for frog No, killing. I think it was just getting back to the it beginning. It was trying to. Yeah. No, it trouble. merged. Oh, there we go. No. No. Uh, mm. Level three. Not too bad for yeah. the first good. try. Good, good. Level completion sequence, yeah. That was weird. Did it get lost getting back? Yeah, it did. It was, it was having trouble getting back. It's funny how it overwrites graphics and then it does the screen. It's a really weird intro to a game. And I've never seen a game like that where it's like it's doing a demo and then you press the button and then it lines up your characters and overwrites the characters that are there. Then it overwrites the screen that's there. It's very, very strange. Froggy. Just hang around there. Oh, he went away. Ah, ah, he ate your egg immediately. So, Revenge says, if you have two segments, you can lay an egg and die. If you see that happening, you need to grow quickly. So, you can lay an egg to death. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's dangerous. Difficulty switches don't do anything. God. Okay, so there's only one level of play in this. Get him, get him, get him. Get that snake. Chew his tail. Yes, get it, get it, get it. No, run. Get that frog, you're gonna die. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna lay an egg and die. Oh. I ate it. Oh, I guess you don't get anything. You don't get anything. You only get them from mm. their eggs, I think. Oh, is my egg still there? Oh, it is. <laughs> well, that's interesting. That's something. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> but they lay, egg lay eggs too. So. Oh, froggy. Good. Reverse serpentine hard lol. <laughs> Yay, level two. Yay, level two. Yay. <sighs> getting, getting oh, he made it back. It. Made it back. I'm getting the hang of it. I wonder what the root, the, the strategy is for getting back, your snake getting back home. Is it just kind of randomly heads in the right direction? It's the other time it took forever to get back home. Ah, oh, he's eating you. What? What? It, it, uh, it has that issue when it's jumping. Oh. You don't eat it. Oh, I see. Ah. Because it jumped at the same time you went through it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Just jumped in and saw this game before it's an arcade port. No, it's not an arcade port. And I was surprised when doing research for this. It is an Apple II game. Uh, and then ported to... Oh, boy. Oh, Ooh, lucky. Oh, that was lucky. And then it was ported to a number of other systems. Uh, it was ported to the Atari. And also... I have some notes about other systems it was ported to. Obviously the 7800 now. Uh, oh, I thought I had notes about that. Uh, Vic 20. There we go. So Commodore 64, uh, Apple II, Atari 8 bit, and Vic 20. Oh god. Oh god. And now the 7800. And this is not. A game that you would see on 2600. There's too many, too, too many, too many sprites you'd have to make. <laughs> too many long sprites. And the maze would be chunky. Um, 
it, it's hard to make games like this in the 2600. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a game well bet, better suited for the 7800. Unless you're really creative. Come on. There we go. Uh, I think I need a frog. Mm -hmm. Oh, another frog. They come pretty regularly, mm -hmm. but the other snakes tend to get them. Yeah, it's just, ooh, luckiness. I need him anytime I want. Just come on here. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> get your frog. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm kind of neat. What oh the, get oh him. somebody f hatched. That's a new snake. Oh, there's another one I can get. Get that guy. Yeah, now I can get him Dang anytime good. I want. Oh, he's going to eat your... Still can get him. And he's dying, too. There we go. Come here. Come here. <laughs> nice. Good job. Yeah, that went really well. Yeah, the blue and red color scheme definitely invokes apple. Tell, tell John Shampoo he can't make it. <laughs> That's one way to... I, I, don't, I don't know if he's motivated by that. <laughs> he's, I think he's more motivated by games he... He likes as, mm. as a as a, as, a, as a game that he's played before. Good That's job. cool. Where you, if you, you get him small enough, you can just. I think if oh, damn it. if you eat him from the front, you get an extra segment. Do you? Yeah. Um, I could be wrong. I thought I have to pay attention. So that's why you want to get them down and then get them from the front. Stop. Stop hanging around each other. Am I wrong about that? I think so. Or maybe it just kills them instantly. I don't know. We'll see next time. I need a little blobfish. Blobfish. He, lo he looks exactly oh, like a blobfish. Oh, it didn't take very long. No, that was really cool. Ours takes a whole round to hatch. Oh, get the froggy. The froggy ate your egg. What? That's not right. Okay, I'm going to eat that guy from the front. How many segments am I? Five. Ah, sorry. No. I can't. That's okay. He's, hey, get I... out of my lily pad. Yeah. <laughs> you should have got an extra segment for that. <laughs> yeah, you start really again bad. as small. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. Hitting them head-on earns you a segment. You, you start? don't start as small. You start no. as what you... St what you stopped at. Uh, didn't, you didn't realize that? I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah. thought it started all over no. again. That's... No, if you oh. die, now you start small. But, so you could yeah. build up to be Super Snake. Possibly. And just destroy It'd be immediately. hard to not have them eat you accidentally, though, if you became really big. Yeah, that's a problem. Because they would just hit you from the side and take your segments. So. Uh, ah! Get, stop There's hanging There's definitely around. an advantage to not being too... Oh, no, dangerous, dangerous. Oh my god, that was dangerous too. Good job. I need frog power. <laughs> oh, he went away, come back. <laughs> sometimes they're like, I'm here, ha ha ha, no That's I'm not. That's so funny, like you can't even get him sometimes. Yep. I love that aspect to it. Okay, let's see. Cat time? Play some oh. dingy cats. There you go. Dingy cat games? Dingy cat games. Come on, back here. Oh, here comes the other cat. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. I need a frog. I need oh, a frog no. badly. There we go. Good job. There you go. This is... I just gave you one. An awesome view. It's there. I already threw one on the floor, cat. <laughs> Can you not see it? No. Uh, okay. I hang around there. There you go. Come on. I'll chase you around. <laughs> there we go. Now I can just eat you. Those open areas in the sides look like trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they can just spin right around mm -hmm. and get you oh, immediately. Oh, they're new. Ooh. New mazes every that time. That looks That's challenging. A neat. That's a neat maze. You have to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left down, left down. Left. Uh oh, oh. Oh, I heard that. Good kitty, good kitty. There we go. Frog, come here. Maybe I should just eat a ton of frogs and just get massive. Yeah. And, and eat all their eggs as they lay them. Oh, you have to get it really fast. Oh, you got it, though. And That's head good. on. Oh. Okay, yes, yes. There you go. 
Pick ding, someone ding. you want, Oh, God. Nope, 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 nope. Give me the throttle. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Oh, we ate one. Just for that. I need that frog. I need that guy. Oh, no, no, oh, no. You're chewing on my tail. Oh, come here. Oh, my God. Get that guy hit on. Yep. Ooh, I'm bigger than all of them. I'm bigger than all of you. I'm gonna eat all the frogs too. I'm gonna eat you head on. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good advantage because if they're in that, they can't get out of it. Yeah. They can't turn around. Look how big I am. So do you get something for the egg being there at the end? Uh, it has to hatch. How does it? Oh, oh. that's when you get it. Oh. You get an extra life. Wow. Okay, that's a big bonus. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah, you get an extra life. Am I bigger? No. Uh, bigger. They're the same size. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh god. This is bad news. <gasps> that was so big! <laughs> Don't get cornered. Do not go after... Bell? Ring the bell? Oh, they're hanging around each other. Good kitty. Stop hanging around each other. Oh, he ate the frog. Good night, Miss Command. Good night, Miss Command. Oh, he ate the frog. Oh, oh this, my is a, this is a challenging one. This is. Because there's so many turns that they can Last take. One for you. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Get him. Get him good. Get him. Eat that. Eat that snake. Stupid, <laughs> ah, didn't, didn't hatch. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. Frog! Get the frog! It's a long way down there. Oh, bastard. Come on out. Out. Oh. Egg. Too late. Oh my god, he's so fast attaching now. Oh. oh! Level five! That was excellent. This is very, very good game. Good job, Very Revenge. good. <laughs> I think I'm, this is going to go on my to-buy list. Do the enemy snakes always start larger than you? It can eventually build up a start bigger than them. That's a question I have. Yes, I think Revenge. you can. Can you get so huge as a snake that you just automatically are bigger than them? Or do they always start out at least one bigger than you? Big snake behind little snake as if they're trying to lure you or to your doom. <laughs> Uh, nope, there's a limit to how big you can get. Uh, okay, so you can't get super massive. But, when you're at your biggest, are they always one bigger than you when they start out? Or can you just dominate the board by like, I'm, I'm just bigger, I start bigger. Oh, almost chopped on your tail there. They always start bigger. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense that they start bigger. Mm -hmm. So it is an advantage then to be bigger? I don't know. I don't know if the, you didn't go after that frog. What are you crazy? Did you die? I know. The frog. Ah, <laughs> he's chewing on you. Come back here. Oh. <laughs> rip it. Rip it. Oh. Oh no. Oh death. Oh, good <gasps> job. How did I do that? Get the frog and run around. Get it. There you go. Get that. Get that guy. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get the other one. No, get it. Yeah, get the other one. Keep going. No, oh! Run. Run. <laughs> You got him. Just keep following him. Ugh. I have to turn properly to yeah, follow it's him. Hectic. It's like 
Pac-Man in the sense that you always have a power-up, because you can always eat them, mm. but they can always eat you too. It's it's really, really clever um, gameplay, where you're always vulnerable, but they're always vulnerable but at the same time. Whoa, oh no, he got me from the front. There? He got me from the front. Wow. He's going to lay an egg. I know. Eat his egg. Eat that blobfish. It's a sad egg. Mm -hmm. It's a fast turning game. Ooh, keep going. Get that Come on! Get there. That froggy. Well, it's just in time, I'm dropping my own egg. Yeah. If I'm lucky. Oh no, don't go after my egg! I will get you. Come on, you. I'm struggling with the joystick. Oh, I hate it. Yay! Now she get extra life. In yes. Theory. Yes. In theory. Yeah. If there's an egg left over, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Wow, you have four lives now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Four. Yeah. It yeah. actually does. So it I thought maybe oh, it's a max max of three, but it might cap out at nine or something. Some games don't cap out. They just keep on going and going. You. What was the game? There was an arcade game. I can't remember. Is it Asteroids? Where in competition... Oh, God. I see I'm turning the wrong way. In competition, the way people go... Whoa, that was... I don't know how I managed that. You can eat the center of them. Apparently so. I didn't know that was a thing. Ugh. I mean, you don't get an opportunity very often to eat the center of them. But, again. Uh, ah. Where you build... The, people, the way the people take breaks so during nice. marathon gaming is that they just build up enough lives. And then they just die for like 15 minutes while they go to the bathroom over and over and over again because they have 99 oh, lives. That kind of makes sense. Does anybody remember what that game is? I, I tend to think it's <sighs> turned right around. I didn't. I turned up. This is pissing me off now. I need a table or something so it's not moving. We have to buy a, an arcade four-way joystick. Yes. Well, you no. save up your pennies and you buy it because <laughs> I don't have troubles with it. <laughs> so much trouble with it. Look, I'm trying to go around in circles and I'm not even turning properly. that was expensive enough. I'm not Ugh. buying a... It's terrible. But if you buy a four-way joystick, we can set it to 45 degrees I think it's because it's Hubert. shifting. It's shifting around in my lap, too. Ugh, I don't even care anymore. Here, <laughs> you, you play. Hurt. You play. Not even playing yeah. your last no, life. No, no, it's pissing me off now. Ugh. I oh. think I need, like, a tabletop so it's you not shifting table. around. No, Upstairs. like I need to do it on on a um, on a tabletop. Where's the third one? Maybe it's right in there. There it goes. Yay. Yay! Would it be a good idea in the early levels to wait till you lay an egg and then eat the last guy? Because you get next to life. It would be, especially in the first level. Sorry? Oh, if you have one one left, you, you mean? have one enemy left. Yeah, yeah. You just keep just going around. Wander around to yeah. lay an egg. No, it makes sense. That's a way to farm uh, extra lives. Yeah, it makes sense. You can only get one extra life per level. As far as I know, it's hard to protect two eggs. Two eggs. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah because they're just gonna eat your egg early in the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, that was your last life. Yeah, it was mine. Oh, one more. Nope. Time to build an arcade cabinet. <laughs> yes. We've always had that in mind. Mm -hmm. Of course, we just put some more, something in the spot that we originally planned to have the arcade cabinet in. Right? Put another bookshelf. Oh, well, technically you could still put one there. Yeah. I don't have time to make one. <laughs> Maybe eventually. That would be cool. Load uh, MAME onto it. Okay, now I'm going to drop an egg, and he's going to eat it immediately. <laughs> oh, oh, don't eat my egg. Oh, there's two of them now. You dropped an egg. Oh, he's going to eat it. I just know it. Don't eat it. Ah, waste. It's still there, though. Okay, he's going to eat it, though. Well, you're bigger than him. Interesting. Oh. Okay, well, I get Yay! the life back, at least. Yay, you get the life back. Well, I'm in the top left corner. See, let's see the maze that I go back through. He doesn't turn. 
he doesn't always turn towards the right and down. Sometimes it's left. Mm. It's totally random. It's weird. Was this on the Commodore 64? Yes, it was. Mm. And on the Vic, and on the Atari 8-bit, and on something else that I forget. The Apple II, that's the original one. So I'm gonna try my strategy again. Long snake nice and, and an egg. And an egg. Extra lives. Books are important too. Well, yes. there's not really books on it. It's movies. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of Blu-rays. Oh, he ate an egg. He ate a frog, but he didn't get a bonus for it. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count. They always start as a two. minimum. Yeah, they always yeah. start at two. Uh, it's three? Two or three? Uh, maybe it's three. I don't remember now. These guys are so big. Oh my god! Mm. Uh, what a waste! But I got an extra life, so. There's a bit of slowdown, I sense. There. Yes, uh, yeah. the, the, when they're really long. Gets a bit a chunky. little slower. This is not like a 2600. There's no such thing as slowdown on a 2600. What you can. Damn it! Mm. You can build in slowdown if you have, like. True multitasking mm. on your game. Nope. <laughs> Not quite small enough yet. There we go. Why was he small? Because ate you, him ate, you ate him. Oh, okay. Oh, froggy. Froggy froggies. Cool. Yeah, oh, now you're Still big. not long enough. One more frog. Then I will destroy them. The other one doesn't get you. I'm just gonna run right into you. Guess not. And another froggy. And another. Oh, they're white now. Oh! Oh no! Now I'm laying an egg too. Oh my oh, god. Oh no! What did I do? Now you're in trouble. Get the frog. There yeah, you go. About to die. No! Oh, uh, no. no! He ate something so and became close. big. So close. Oops, these two guys are small. Uh, they're always bigger than me. Or equal. They're not bigger than me. They're equal. Mm. Oh, damn it! Level three! I made level five last time. The snakes actually get a bit slower as they get bigger. You included. Is that by design or is that because there's too many things on the screen? Was the VIC-20 version a smaller, tighter maze because of the larger pixels and character sizes? I am guessing it would be. Um, because of the lower resolution, but I've not seen the VIC-21. Didn't, I didn't take a look at that one. Ugh. Oh, made quick work of you. Well, I didn't turn the right way, so what are you going to do? <laughs> I guess there's no button, really, to use at all. No, no button, just to start the game. Come here! Come here! Yeah. Let's put a pixel on the screen. Let's put a pixel on the screen. Come on. Oh, that's two pixels. I just hit it twice because I always think it doesn't work. I'm going to have one more game of this after you. Okay. Then we're going to move on because it's fun. It's fun. I'm going to add this to my list. List of games. Oh, boy, that was a dangerous area. Well, didn't even make past level one that one. Hey, kitty. Oh, come here. <laughs> Treats. Bribe the cat. Come here. Come say hi. Meow. 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 Oh, two cats now. Oh. One's here, so the other one's like, ooh, what's going on? There is a game that I would love to have ported, but it would have to be a 7800 game. Uh, it's kind of... Oh, I can never remember the name of it. I played it a ton on my Commodore 64. It's kind of like Galaga, except these 
things come on the screen and they come in patterns. They come in waves and they try and steal your fruit. And then they take off. Okay. Um, it was on the Atari as well. Like Atari 8-bit. Mm -hmm. I believe. Fruit. Stealing fruit. Yeah. Hanging up on each other and they're making me annoyed. Okay, now they're out of the Nope! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I need to do this. I need to that frog right now. What? <laughs> there we go. And another frog. Does anybody remember that game? Oh, good. I'm not giving much description to it. Oh! I'm just gonna get him head on. It? It's got a really weird name. I think the game is Bandits. Bandits. You yeah. got it. There's a um, there's a subreddit called Tip of My Joystick. It's like tip of my tongue, and you you describe games that you played, and you can't remember what they're called, and people try and uh, guess what the game is. Like you're not trying to fool them. You're just trying to like, oh, I want to play that game again. I just haven't played it since I was a kid, and I can't remember what it's called. Somebody would be good at that game. Who answered me? Oh, uh, it was... Me nope, not Metal Worm. Revenge says Bandits, ah, yes. Yes, I would love Yes, Bandits, like that. a more complicated spider fighter. Yes, mm. yeah, it is. Because the spider fighter, you, it takes your uh, fruit as well. Mm. It's, it's very complicated. Mm. It's, it'd be a very hard game to make. Um, unless you have the source code. Mm. Okay, snakes. I'm a big snake and very vulnerable. And there you go. You're by yourself. Come here. No! Do not loop around. Oh nope, my nope, god. No, 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 no. Run away! Run away! Oh my god, they're all in one spot. It's always annoying. There kind of is a time limit to this game because you lay eggs. Okay. Okay. Turn, 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 turn. Not. Come on! Turn! Turn somewhere! Not like that. There we go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm eating, eating from behind. He's helping his friend. Yeah, they're ganging up on you. Come on, turn. Turn somewhere. Oh. No! I have to eat the frog. Nope. Oh, no! No, nope. no froggy for you! Come back, frog. Just a little bit. Oh, I'll eat that instead. Oh, oh. Thank you. Just in time. Oh, just, just in time. going to die. Stop it. Get Stop the frog. It. Get the frog. Uh, Get the frog. Oh, he eats your egg, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frog. What can you do? Okay. Eat that guy head on. There we go. There. Now I'm a bit more safe. Come on. Okay. Come down here. Turn. 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 <laughs> I swear they get a little bit smarter on the higher levels. And the lower ones, they're like, just kind of random. They don't really care where they're going. Come on. I need to destroy some of these guys. Oh, dangerous area. I need the frog, too. Come here. I swear they're a tiny bit faster. Yeah, it makes them harder to get. Uh, gotta get out of here. Uh, I need the frog, but he's surrounded. I know you. Wrapped an egg. No, I need the frog. It's so protected by so many snakes. Uh, I gotta get that frog. Ah, uh, uh. Turn! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is a long level. At least there's kind of unlimited frogs. Yeah. I swear they're thing. a little bit faster. So it's harder to catch up with them. Yeah, I think you're right. Turn. Get him! Get him! No! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> You're having no luck this round. I am not having any luck. Get off my tail! Turn! Thank you. Not in there. Ugh. Ah, two of them. 
Don't eat my tail. I'm dropping too many eggs here. Oh, God. They're all, all over the place again. I'm not playing terribly. It's just difficult <laughs> to catch up with them. And then they, they congregate. Oh, I'm going to die. I swear there's... I, yeah. They just cornered you. I swear I swear they have like a tactic for two of them together. Uh, reload your stream, Spiceware. Uh, everything's good here. We're still streaming. If you can hear us. <laughs> Probably not because you've got a spinner. Reload. Come on. Oh, come on. Give me this. Come on. Yes. Come on. No! No! It's okay. No, it's not. Dropping eggs. Oh, frog Missing egg. frogs, and I'm oh, dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's where they got you last time. You can't... You, I can't go after that frog if there's too many of them around. Come on. Yes. Your friend's going to come here and it's going to just wreck it all... Too many. Ah, run away. Get the froggy. So get the frog while I'm over here. And another one, please. Come on. He won't jump on you if you're right there. Really? Yeah. Oh, good double jump. Oh. Okay. Don't turn around. That's right. Oh, yeah. Another head on. Oh, oh. Another head on. Another frog. And you are done. Oh. Nice. Level four. This would have been a quarter muncher for yes. sure. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I don't, I don't know how fast it would eat quarters if it was exactly this. Mm -hmm. It would have to be much harder mm -hmm. in the arcade than this. Because I've been playing it for ten a minutes while. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. They want, like from everything I've read, they want you to die within five, three to five minutes mm -hmm. of putting in your quarter. Unless you're really good at it. I made it to level five last time. Oh god. Ah, no. It's too many. Get out of here. Come on, separate. Like disperse. Stop hanging around each other. Gang of snakes. Oh. No, no, two of them are coming. Too many. Get him. Mm. Come on, turn. Oh, God. This is a really hard level for <laughs> manipulating the snakes. Because because it they're they're in a it's good and bad. Like once they're stuck in a way in a. Oh, no 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 run 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 run. run. Each other. Quit it. Should I just keep eating frogs until yeah. I become bigger than them? It's not the a only terrible tactic. It's not. Oh, gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. Gonna get me some frogs and then just. What? Oh! <laughs> Timing. Okay. Oh, God. As oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Phrasing. Yeah. Phrasing. No. Timing. Close. Okay, you're by yourself. And then your friends are gonna come to your rescue. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. oh my god. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Last. Go, come on. Don't. There we go. Thank you. Now I have a fighting chance. Oh yeah. Get that. Get that. Get that right now. Yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna become one. Ooh, you just wow, got it. Wow, that hatches fast. Yeah. 
yours doesn't, which is completely unfair. <laughs> well, mine never hatches. No, not till the end. Till the end, so it is. Oh, unfair. now this one's dropping one too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you won't get to it in time. Oh. But he's small. So you might as well. well I'm getting smaller too. Oh no! Oh. Did you get the frog at least? No. I did. I think. No. He got the frog. Mm -hmm. Bastard. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, now he's... Turn! No! <laughs> well, that was good. That's a good game. Wow, that's... It's a really simple and fun game. A lot of strategy there. Mm. It uh, mm -hmm. reminds me of Robot City by Thomas Yench, where you're mm -hmm. that... Uh, you're flying around. Flying around. You have to be behind yes. them to shoot them. Yes. You can never be in front of them. Yes, 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 yes. Very similar tactics. I like that, yeah. I mean, the game's very different, but... The kind of basics similar are way. similar. You yeah. can never be in front. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really, really awesome. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so we're on to our third and last game of the night. And it is Pac uh, Junior Pac-Man. I always want to say Pac-Man Junior. But it's Junior Pac-Man. Uh, this is made by Bob DeCrescenzo. And uh, it was originally an arcade game and we're going to take a look at the arcade game first it's not much different he did a great job of converting it uh, it was uh released in 1983 into the arcade and funny enough it was an unauthorized game you were not the the person who made it um bally midway was not allowed to make this game and they actually lost their uh, license to make Pac-Man games after this. Oh, really? From Namco. Really? After they put this game out. Wow. Because they were they got in trouble uh, for doing it. So. And it is a vertical game. A horizontal game. On the 2600, they, you can't scroll horizontally very well, so they made it into a vertical game. Um, so, uh, it's an arcade game released by Bally Midway, August 13, 1983. It's based on Pac-Man and its derivatives, but like Baby Pac-Man and Pac-Man Plus, was created without the authorization of Namco. Hmm. Technically, Ms. Pac-Man was created without the authorization of, really? of Namco, too. Really? Because it was those guys... Oh yes, that yes. Made it. Who like um, and then they hacked went, the board, right? Hacked the board to yeah. make their own version. Yeah. But then Namco said, "Hey, that's cool. Let's buy it. Let's buy it. Yeah, yeah. And make it into their own." So most games associated with Pac-Man were pirated games. That's so funny. That's <laughs> it so is. funny. This was one of several games that eventually led to the termination of the licensing agreement between Namco and Bally Midway wow. in 1984. Uh, unlike prior games in the series, the Maze and Junior Pac-Man scrolls hor horizontally and has no escape tunnels. Yes, it just keeps going. And yeah, also, that's true. I find in this game, they're on you. Like they don't really wander around no. too much. They just make a beeline for you. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna get right into it, the game. And this is on the 7800 as well. Excellent. I thought it was Baby or Professor that was the final straw. <laughs> uh, it was nope. one of those. Junior Pac-Man. It was accumulation of this one and another one. I, oh, yeah. I don't have the notes in front of me of which one it was, but yeah. um, it was a cumulative effect of uh, yeah. a bunch of a bunch of piracy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or unauthorized. Unauthorized use. Yeah, but they obviously had use. some kind of contract with Bally Midway they anyway. Had, they did. It was so strange that they would do that. They wanted to keep all the money. And like, oh, we're going to secretly make an arcade game based this on... This is super fast. Yeah, we're going to start off with fast because this is the basic version. Is it easier? Yeah. Um, the advanced version is... Um, and you get five lives, too. Yeah. And the hard one, you get three lives. And you're slower. You're just faster than the Pac-Man... Uh, than the ghosts. Unless you're eating the dots which you're a little bit slow. Um, so, this has a very interesting story behind it, the development mm -hmm. uh, for the 7800. So, 
It was originally a thread was posted by Fra Frau Blucha on March 6, 2009 with the title, Hi, Question About the Atari. He says, hello, new here. And this was his first post. We were cleaning out the attic last weekend and my dad pulled out a box. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Oh no, it's fine. My dad pulled out a box that had a 7800 and a few games. Some of them seemed to have no plastic covers on them. I did a Google search for 7800 and it led me here. There were six games, M Mrs. Pac-Man, <laughs> Joust, Robotron Galaga, and two that just look like green boards. Not even sure if they really go with this unit. Looks like there's a plug for it, but I can't find any controllers. Does anyone know how to connect them to the video input of the LCD TV I have here? Uh, this was in 2009. I don't get anything but a blue screen when I try it. Are any of these worth anything? Mm. Does anyone know where to get controllers for this thing? Um, thanks, Dylan. And uh, then he posted some screenshots. He plugged in the board, one of the boards, one of the bare boards, and it said, um, it's Sam. I'm going to load up the, the thread. So he posted some blurry shots. One second. Oh, God. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Aww. Junior meets Yum Yum. Aww. Have you ever tried the new Pac-Man Championship editions, James? I have not tried them. I've seen a lot of videos. Those ones where it's a pattern. You follow the pattern. Oh, yeah. Then it gives you a new pattern. You follow that pattern. It's interesting. I'm not a huge Pac-Man person. It's fun, but I'm far from good at it. Um, so I don't really gravitate towards it, but that's, that's definitely a game that's in a lot of arcades. Modern arcades don't have a lot of arcade games. I mean, the retro arcade games are awesome. Uh, arcade um, uh, places. Oh. Oh, we yeah, eat it. Yeah, they they eat the power pellets. <laughs> the uh, the, pow the uh, bonus items. Which is quite a thing. Uh, so let me oh. go back to the thread here. Oh, yeah. So he posted a terrible, blurry photo that said J.R. 87. Oh, God. Anyway. And then he, uh, people helped him out and, and he was able to put that board into his system. And let me go to the screenshot for that. Half my movements are not what I'm trying to do. Practice the joystick. Why, why was I was having far less issue with this when I was playing it when Bob was chatting? <laughs> I don't know. Is it because it's the left handed one? Were you on the right handed yeah, one? Yeah, I think so. I don't know about that because we're playing. Get it! Oh, once it's got it, it's over. Oh, yeah, no, no, it dies. I don't really care. Then he posted some very overexposed screenshots of what is obviously Junior Pac Man. It says, Okay, I took pictures with my phone. Sorry for the quality. I really need a new phone. I also looked online for a picture of the 2600 version, like you said, and it led me back here, lol. It's definitely not the same version. And then uh, people freaked out because there was no version of Junior Pac-Man made for the 7800. Oh. And everybody was like, oh my god, this is a prototype that was never released. Because there's tons of prototypes made for every system, especially towards the end of their life. There's lots of people working on it, and then they just pull the plug. Like, oh, I'm not going to pay anybody anymore to make make these games. Then somebody said, obviously, we now know Junior Pac-Man exists for the 7800. But some people were skeptical. Some people were, like, excited and apprehensive. Some people were like, oh, my God, it's a prototype. <laughs> um, and then Al got a hold of that guy. Yeah. He said, okay, ship to me. I can dump the ROM mm. for it. And then they can, then they can take a look at it. And... Um, So he said, Al, Al said, Albert, Albert said, uh, dumped and sent off. I haven't tried to get an emulator. I'll need to install one of the 7800 emulators. Pro system in a Windows VM on my Mac. 
I'll play around with it this weekend and see if I can get it to run without any problems. I'll post some screenshots once I do that. As I mentioned earlier, it's not up to me to release the binary for everyone to enjoy. And so, Almost Race said, Oh, wow, I stopped reading this forum for a week and this happens? I just hope Bob was not too far along with any junior port if he started one. Uh, Wiki Columbus said, uh, the owner said if it gets released, he will release it himself. Albert said, bingo, this is why I have not released the ROM myself. The scenario has played itself like this in the past as well. I'm just confident we'll see the ROM for Junior Pac-Man release so everyone can enjoy it. The important thing is getting it dumped. I'm even leery of shipping of a one-of-a-kind prototype in case something were to happen during shipping, but it arrives safely, and the game's survival is no longer dependent on a lone piece of 20-plus-year-old hardware. Um, then... The binary was posted on April 1st by Frau Lucha. Hello, sorry for the delay, but I'm not waiting any longer. I've not heard from the person who said he was going to purchase it. I can't get it to work with any emulator, so I'm posting it here for you guys to see if you can get it working. Al said us something about it needing to be padded so emulators will see it correctly. I don't know. I can't get it to run. Thanks, everyone. And then after the dump, Pac-Man Plus said, This is so cool. I wish we could find the source code so I could see how they did the scrolling. Um, but unfortunately, uh, the joke was over mm. when on the same day, Dutchman2000 posted using a hex ed editor on this ROM. I found the following in the code R P D copyright 2009. Oh, so Robert, uh, Bob Dick presents it. I don't know what his middle name is, but it's a P. Um, and then Bob finally confessed to it. He said, crap, I forgot about that. I even went the trouble to replace the monster shapes with Atari so nobody would identify mine. Uh, the non-working one was only done to throw people off. I switched banks to an empty one upon clearing the screen. I was originally going to post what I had done when I would finished the gameplay part, but the four people that knew about it told me to use it as an April Fool's gag. And no, I'm not telling who they were. <laughs> so he was working on this game, okay. Junior Pac-Man, gotcha. then made a fake board mm. and just put JR87 mm. created a, do, a a second account and pretended he was a guy who just found it That's with a bunch funny. of bunch of games yeah and then a limited number of uh, the carts went on sale in 2009 about uh, about a hundred until there was uh, an issue found a bug was found in May 7th 2009 and then he fixed it on May 18th 2009 and then he shipped the rest of the games Kind of a kind of a funny thing. Some people got uh, some people got mad <laughs> at, at the uh, April Fool's joke. Wow, that was skillful. Yeah, to go right in between. Somehow went right in between two of the ghosts. Oh, oh. oh I missed it. They do go right for you, though. I agree. They're very honed in on to your position. Ah. Yeah. So what? My strategy in the limited time I played it. Is kind of just cross the board back and yeah, forth. Yeah, it, it, that is a. And then once in a while, do that. This guy's going after my other. Atari 2600, dude. Junior Pac Man on the 2600 is great, but really hard. I've never completed even one screen on Junior Pac Man on the 2600. The 2600 it's version? So hard. So incredibly hard. Tanya did it very good during the spotlight. <laughs> played very well. Oh, it's a fun game. Pac Man. Uh, Great Defender says this looks every bit as good as the arcade version. Oh, yeah. It's great. Great looking. I enjoy a good No tunnels, huge mazes, big dots that slow you down, prizes that destroy energizers. Yeah, I like the prizes destroying your energizers. That's I think quite that's a twist. hilarious. So there's a lot more going on that's oh my God, see I just ate the other one. i know that's, that's okay. the last one it's okay i find the timing so short for getting the ghosts it's right not away, like it's not away. like regular ah it's not like regular pac-man where you want to get all the points it's yeah. so hard to get the points april 1st Stop is probably it. the worst day to release any anything no <laughs> one would believe it yeah and that's what happened Can't to us it. when we showed off Oh, the Star Wars cart, cart. People still don't believe that's real. Because yeah. <laughs> it was like two days before. Uh... The Star Wars cartridge. The Star Wars movie cartridge. Because it yeah. was two or three days before April 1st. And people were like, this is fake. Oh. This is fake. Yeah, this is like, fake. No, so actually. I, <laughs> look, I plugged it in and I turned it on. and it, 
if if somebody was going to do that as a fake, it's so elaborate they might as well have made it. <laughs> and it, and somebody would have to be such a good. Oh, just got it. That's better than it. No, you didn't get it. Hmm? I did. Because you would have got a longer power up. Nope, the power up is super short now. Oh, it's like okay. once you hit like level two, it's like oh nope nope. So fast. I think if they're already in power up, you don't get much more. Come on. They start flashing instantaneously. Yeah, they do. It's like um, useless. Nostalgic says I can't complain about an April Fool's joke that becomes a real game. Yeah, you can't be too mad, really. Three seconds. Oh, yeah. It's like so fast. It's it's just to so barely fast. save you. Hi, you wanna go over here? So we're your less trouble? says, no, I'm my own cat. Let me go where I want to go. They turn mappy arcade cabinets into Junior Pac-Man. That's probably why there's not a lot of mappy games. Uh, oh. It's the controller. I heard like three I clicks you and you weren't moving. Yeah, I know. The controller is uh, not my favorite. <laughs> See, look, I'm trying to go up. It's like back and forth, back and forth. It's very fast though, and that's part of the problem yeah. is you have to be really precise. You have to get the timing perfect. And and when you're moving that fast, it's <laughs> like go up, go up, go up. <laughs> <laughs> very very precise. Run away. No, you kind of want to lead the maze them. Is kind you kind of want to get them together so you can lead you them do. to and from things. Oh, come on. <sighs> Get Tanya a better controller. Tanya can get Tanya a better controller. Yes, Tanya can get Tanya a better controller. Hey, I it's making me crazy. Don't know of any I don't know. <laughs> that you can buy that are four-way controllers. For the, well, what we need know. is a four-way controller for the 7800. There must be controllers where the controls have less kind of throw to them, though. Yeah. They're called four-way controllers. Oh, is that, is that all it is? Yeah. And you can buy Man. plugins for them that you, you can disable. Yep. That it goes from four way to eight way to oh, forty five degrees. I see. And two ways as well. Mm. But you're definitely gonna be making a custom one or getting somebody to make a custom one. Using your left hand can't be easier. Yeah, maybe. I'm so used to it with the the left. Well finally get to play my first game. <laughs> Oh, your first uh, junior pack man. Yeah. yeah, I was like, you've been playing games this whole this whole stream. What are you talking about? Yeah. I like this game. It is really fun. It is really it fast, is. though. But I kind of like that it's so fast. Yeah. Makes it uh, very exciting. <laughs> yeah. And they move pretty quick, too. Hey, get... there's an optimal pattern for this. I'm sure there is. Okay. I don't know if it's like the original though. It, the maze is completely different. No, no, I mean the their patterns because they seem to oh, just the ghost barrel movement? right for you. No, yeah. They are just barreling for you. I'm pretty sure they have honing with slight variations. Yes. Because otherwise they would just eventually gather all together as one if they moved the same and made the same decisions. It's usually based on where they are mm. and where you are. Yeah, we'll see that. Yeah. Like, oh, oh come on. Free man. Yay, free man. Okay, let's clean up this board now. Bit of a mess. It is a lot of <laughs> a lot of movement. There's a lot of little aisles you have to get through. Where the, uh, the first one was at oh you bastard yeah. was at ten thousand at least. Good job. Am I playing the perfect game of no. of Junior Pac-Man? No, no. You already ate a power pellet. So. Yeah. Up here. 
Up here. Yeah, you do have to kind of draw them. Okay, now we're going to go to the right-hand bottom corner, everybody. <laughs> Everyone follow me. Right over here. Heard the cats. Yeah. Heard the cats. Oh, they're already dispersing. Ugh. Oh, good. Heard the cats. Okay, cats. Over here. <laughs> Let's try it again. Bottom. Bottom, bottom, bottom. There we go. Now that's better. Yeah. <laughs> They're just watching. Boing, 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 boing. Get away from my kid! <laughs> good first round. Very good. Yeah. It is on easy mode. Yes. Fast. Super Junior. Okay. Change my mind. That's fine. I don't have to use up the power pellet right now. Of course, there's a thing aiming to destroy one of them, I'm sure, at Always. the moment. I love it. Oh God, you get so no time. so short now. Yeah, like, the only time you can get all four, Pointless. like, reliably is level one. <laughs> yeah. Beyond true. that, it's really hard. And smoosh! Oh, you bastard. Gosh, they're all, like up against you. I'm sure there's tactics just like in um, Pac-Man to do that. Oh, you got it. Because that's what people, like the perfect oh, players do. They have to, every pellet you have to get all yeah. of them. Yeah. It's funny, I used to find find it panicky, but actually sometimes just hanging you? out. He's no! Get you. Oh, good job! Going back and forth because they don't necessarily take the path directly to you. No, they so don't. So they turn. They do. They, you. Coming forward, right? Nope, not back. I find the ghosts in this actually easier because they're so predictable. Like they just kind of go for you. They don't take roundabouts, they're just like, yeah, we're coming to kill you. Just coming straight for you. Yeah. And so it's like, I can just lead them. Oh god. So that, there, they all went down. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go up then. Is that it? Is that all that's left? Oh. Should've went for it. Mm -hmm. It's very far away. Can you bring that closer? Cat? Cats? Cat hurting. Oh, that is all Traditionally in Pac-Man, there was only one free man at 10,000. Oh, mm, God. He got it a really? lot sooner. He got it a lot sooner. One in Pac-Man, but Pac I don't know about... This is easy, too, so... Yeah. Different. Well, I haven't got an extra man since. True. Yet. At 10,000. Yeah. Almost like giving no extra lives. Yeah. Look how quick that was. Oh, I could have gone away. I actually ran into him. Mm. I mean, an extra life helps. If there's only one in the whole game, it's like, mm, you have to be good anyway. Okay, go stays. No. Pointless. Pointless. Almost pointless. Yeah. Oh my See? god. Yeah, you get no time. No time. Super quick. <laughs> One ghost. Pick your ghost and you get it. Yeah. I'll take you. The one that's closest to you, forcing you to eat the power pellet. Oh, God. You have to call it by name when, before you get it, too. <gasps> oh, I was trying to get him and then get the thing that I was eating. Uh, my power pellets. Use it up. It's, it's almost pointless, isn't it? It's the just only like point, a normal... The only, I would just get it because it's it's so kind of useless and then you have to go it back is. and re-get it after the fact. It is, yeah. Just treat it like a dot. Yeah. Just clear the board and... I mean, yeah, you. it's kind of nice to uh, wait until yeah. you need it, but... True. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 
you actually get more points for the dots that have been converted into bigger dots. Oh, really? <sighs> that was very lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the, the bouncy thing. Like the prize? Yeah, the prize. They're worth 50 instead of 10. Really? Yeah. Interesting. But they slow you down. Yeah. While you Yay! Oh, Aw, yeah. oh, cute. We meet on a bridge. Here, have a balloon. Thank you, Junior Pack. Hey, get away from my kid! <laughs> <laughs> we are enemies. Mortal enemies. Like a Romeo and Juliet story? It is. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that's how it was described in one of the things. I looked really? Up, oh yeah, my it's goodness. Romeo and Juliet oh no. From, you know, warring uh, families. Warring factions. Oh. Yeah, not allowed to see each other. The Montagues and the what? The Capulets. The Capulets, yeah. Pac Man and the Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. I love it when there's backstory. Backstory to a game, which is just a little chompy thing and a bunch of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This one is very long. Sneeze lengths. It's challenging. Oof. Yeah. Because you, lots of places to get stuck. really caught. Yeah. Get that balloon. There's not a point. There's not a point. Mm -hmm. Much better than I thought. Oh, you're doing really well. There's something about moving fast like that that actually makes it does Precisely. make the game <laughs> easier. Well, yeah. Well, you can outrun the ghost. Yeah, by, that's like, what I mean. Like a massive A lot amount. of Pac-Man games, you reach a level and you can't outrun them anymore. No, you have to be very strategic about it. That was pointless. up here. Slow ones. And we'll bring everyone down to the bottom. Mm. Just get them out of the way. Yay! Ooh, you're flying! I'm on the train level. The train level? Cool. Mm -hmm. There is no cutscene. I guess no, every next, second. Yeah. Good, actually. Nope. <laughs> ah, they have ah, to be like ah, right ah, next ah. to you. Oh no! <laughs> panic, panic, cat. Nobody's talking. Panic. Oh, game over. Okay, we're gonna play the hard version. Okay. Is it really slow? Uh, it's much slower. Oh no. Okay, we'll play two players alternating. Can you? Is it the joystick? Yeah. Go to two player. And go to the bicycle. I think is the first. Level? It's a cat. Cat, cat oh, level. We missed the cat. Not teddy bear. That's beginner. Bicycle? Yep. So we're going back and forth? Do, 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 do. Yes. Well done. J55150. Oh my gosh. Uneasy. Yes, thank you very much. It was way better than I thought. So, high scores. There have been a number of high score challenges of this game. Um, on normal speed, a high score challenge on May 2009, 64,000 points <laughs> so slow. on normal. Of course, I have to use this. Right hand. After playing it on easy, it's on like, normal, you're oh like, my God, this so is going to take a year. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of pellets to pick up off the ground. It is. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, he's so much faster. <laughs> I can't just outrun them anymore. Oh no, you can't. Oh, good job, you got low. Oh, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> it's so slow. Oh, I can't outrun them anymore. Oh. Why did you win? Why didn't you get the pellets? Because I'm trying to clear the board. There's only so <gasps> many pellets. There's a lot. This guy's gonna eat one. Oh, he ate one. Oh, just ducked out of the way. Now I got you. There you go. I just need 10,000 for the next one. And you move slow when you eat the big ones. Oh, I gotta stop eating. There we go. Because you do move faster when you don't eat pellets. pellets. So if you need to get away, don't be eating the pellets. And smoosh. Ah, smoosh. Uh, see, on highscore.com, the highest score on the turbo setting, which is the one we played, was 300,000. And I got 55,000. <laughs> one sixth of the way there. And I know I could do better, much better, um, if I played again. Obviously, that was like my f really my first ever time playing Junior Pac-Man. So that was not terrible. Oh, oh my. my god, you can't even run his... No, I can't wow. outrun him. I can't outrun him. That's terrible. <laughs> That's so terrible. So, so is the fast speed the, the normal game, or is this the, considered the normal game? No, this is... Where you can't even run his, on the first level faster than that. Yeah. That seems abnormally difficult. Don't you think? I have to take corners. We got spoiled by the Miss Pac-Man speed mod in arcades. It needed <laughs> to be added to home versions eventually. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> chunky. So chunky. So chunky. It's like the difference between Pixel running after pellets and Atari running after pellets. Oh, yeah. oh. that's catching. Oh, what? Oh, you got a free life at... What? What was that noise? I don't know. Did somebody eat my power pellet? Oh, yeah, probably. Oh. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. It's yeah, gone. I got that one there. That oh, one. yeah. The side one. Ah, <gasps> uh, uh. Oh, I'm running faster. Why are you not running faster? I don't faster? know. I don't know. Maybe you're full of pellets. You're so slow and full of pellets. <laughs> I, it was the red one chasing me, though. The pink oh, one, so it might... Do they have different speeds? They do! Red one's faster! <gasps> That's why. Blinky. Oh, oh my god, he was not running towards me. Oh, so is the red challenge? one is the one you really want to stay away from. Free Junior at 10,000. You take corners faster than the ghost, so you can evade by taking turns. Okay. So if you're getting chased, just keep taking turns. Obviously in the correct direction. Don't just go around the circle, because you will die. <laughs> Slower definitely is hard. Hard. Oh no, I've got the red guy. Yeah. No! Let's go. Get that power power. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, mm. cornered. We're oh. still both on level one. We're both still on level one. Try to get off level one. If, I don't know if it'll be this game. This is like uh, like doing vacuuming or something. It's like, oh, it just takes a lot of time. <laughs> got to get all the No, forms. I got it. I did get an extra life. It's, you did. It's on a... Yeah, no, you it's did. Like, it was... No, you did. You're over 10,000 there. Oh, I'm on the right. Yeah, you're on the right. We were both looking on the left. You did oh. get over 10,000. So you did get an extra life. very confusing. Used. And that that's hard. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go to level two. We have to. One of us has to get to level yeah, two. On, yeah, yeah, on we hard. can do it again. Oh, yeah, still two players. Okay. Oh, 
arcade high scores, uh, 3,330,950. That sounds like a rollover score. That sounds a little suspiciously like the original uh, score when Pac-Man just, just dies. It's too many points. Oh, come oh, on. He turned. He's using his the good tactics against you by doing the turns. Pause when I hit corners. It's not helping me at all. Nope. It's not. I think so. Wanna play? <laughs> He's like, I would like to eat some Pac Man's. I'll chase the Pac Pac Man Jr. Ooh, ooh, he's faster. Well, I'm eating dogs. Was I eating dogs? Yep. Yeah. I think they're all just a bit faster than you when you're eating dogs. But only the red guys. Terrible. <laughs> oh. That's hard. Such a hard game. This is... <laughs> they, they like to run away from you. Mm -hmm. And split. That bicycle. A thousand points. Get your free man. Mm -hmm. Oh, a hundred. Yeah, it's only a thousand when you're at the higher levels. Oh, what? Oh, I'm going to go to There we go. I wonder if the... Uh, Nostalgic says, I wonder mm -hmm. if the Arcade Junior starts glitching at a certain level. I think Miss Pac-Man starts glitching in the, the hundreds. I'm guessing hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of millions? Okay, Sir? that cat can't get my water. Can you get him, please? Thank you. Stop it. Oh, don't hurt him. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just tapping him with a cane. <laughs> he hates that. <laughs> He's getting attacked <laughs> by a by a Mario star right now. Oh, no. It's like... The indignity. You distract him. He's still not happy with me right now. Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm distracting. Doing much worse than you. Now you can grab him. <laughs> Are you all pissed off? He's like, yes, I was attacked by a Mario star. <laughs> 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 oh, glitching in the... Hey! Oh, he's so mad. Hey, hey, hey. Do you want to be tossed? Be good cat. Oh, he's just being naughty. I see. Yeah, he's biting things and scratching things. Let's get revenge. Oh, no. oh, we just ate it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have none left. <laughs> oh, no. You're on your oh, own. No, this You're almost not... the free man. Just a tiny bit more. Just eat some more dots. Oh, some more dots. Ooh, that bicycle would have Oh, my God. Get the bicycle. Yeah, the bicycle is only 100. Oh. He has no, nothing true. to eat anyway, so he'll just wander around for a while. Oh, that's true. He'll be available. Oh god. Oh, god. there's an opening. Oh no. No, oh, this green yes. guy. It's like I'm chasing him. <laughs> Inky, I'm chasing Inky. Come on, I just want I just want oh, my free life. That close. Boo. I that was not clear. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Give me. Well, you're just holding it. It's gonna start. They're gonna kill me. Are you hanging out with Totoro back there? Yeah. He's got his Totoro friend. Oh, oh you can't see. Oh, Pixel Cat. Oh my god. That was a bad idea. Good. Good. Yes. You definitely get a lot more score when, when you get the ghosts. 100. Terrible. Oh, there's no dots over there. There's one over there. One dot. Oh, God. That green guy has no interest <laughs> in getting you. He'll well, turn. Yeah, it's true. He won't go straight for you. He's programmed to go near it's you. It's like he's more scared of you than you are of him. He's like, ah! He runs the opposite direction. Are we playing again? Till we get to level two. All right. Good question. Can anyone make it that far? Probably with an emulator. Well, somebody, somebody in the arcade 
got 3,330,950. And that is far above the second place of just under a million. So I think they rolled the board. Like somebody's so good and knows the patterns. That way. Do not go towards the coasts. Run away from the coasts. Power pilot! Get those ghosts! The only way we're going to get to the second level is by an extra man. <laughs> oh, my God. My son would like this. He enjoys Pac-Man. Especially on the zoomy level. That's really fun. Mm, 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 mm. Just trying the 2600 version. You weren't kidding about that. It is hard. <laughs> Deadly hard. It's so hard. But it's really well done. Like, the game looks really good and mm. plays really well. It's just deadly. It's a deadly, deadly game. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, I would have gotten the pellet. No, I wouldn't have made it. Mm, you didn't make it anyway. <laughs> that was terrible. 1000. You're kicking my ass. Is there a glitch in screen 256? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let's look it up. Let's see if there's glitches. Oh, come on. These guys. Oh, you can get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, oh yeah. You just. Almost to 10,000. Just a tiny bit more. And you've got one extra life, too. Perfect. Now you make it. Get all those ghosts. You can't get them. Oh, come on. I hate it when you're so close. Yeah, you did it! That's Junior Pac-Man level. Oh, you just ate something. Yeah, that was strange. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I hate that. Hmm. Oh, it pauses! Ooh! Oh. I got an extra life. He returned again, extra life. There's a cat down there. Watch him. He's in the wires. Yeah, it's just the pixel. He's in the though. ducting. <laughs> He's in the ducting. Smack it with a broom! <laughs> Smack the ceiling with a broom. Good job. Nice. Yeah, you need those to get your score up fast. He has no interest in you. The red one, on the other hand. Mm. The red one is. Has me. a lot of interest in you. Red one goes straight for you, and he's fast. Junior Pagman does have a glitch. Um, where is it? I just read it. Oh, it's like, what? Ah. Already? Mm. That's not how you get to level two. No, nope. I don't think we're making it to level two. <laughs> Feels like a game made for 16 to 9 screens on a console that only supports 4x3. <laughs> yes. that's, that, that, that's true. This yeah. would be a good conversion for 16 Oh, what nine. did you find? What are you playing with? Oh my god. Is that something you might not want chew chewed up? Not really. It's old and not great. Did you start my game? No. You were just preoccupied and I died. Kitten, stop it. Stop being a bad cat. Oh. Get already. No, I'm trying to turn. Silly thing. Hey, kitties. They're being trouble. They're like, hmm. Come here. Yes, I know. Game over. Oh, no, it's your turn. What? You playing again? Yep. Yeah. To make it to level two. It's not impossible. It's just hard. The 146th screen on Junior Pac-Man is messed up. So that's that's where it can't be taken any further. It's after level 146. So 146 has a bunch of... You better keep moving. Glitches, just like Pac-Man does. Perfect! Uh, no! Oh, it doesn't keep moving! Hey! S throw it across the room! No. Throw it across the room. I'm doing just fine. It's user error. Not user error. If or diagonals don't work, down does. I know. It should. <laughs> no. 
What were we doing? That's why I don't like these games. Well, how is it, how, <laughs> how is it supposed to know what? Oh, where'd that? Why is that ghost in there? Yeah, because it didn't come out yet. Oh. Looks like I thought they were gathered together. Yeah, we have a cat that sometimes likes to try and mess with the TV that we are watching to get some sort of attention. Well, what? Uh, were you chasing him? I, uh, he was blue. Oh, he just flipped. That makes sense. Yeah. Somewhere between 520 and 550 dogs must be eaten on every level. Four ghosts that chase Junior Pac-Man are Pinky, Tim, Blinky, and Inky. Tim? Tim. Oh my goodness. That's funny. Oh god. Ugh. Trapped. Maybe Not, we won't this make it to Not this round. Not this round. Much better round last time. Tense. Pac Man tension. Yeah. I think it was there before Pac Man, so. <laughs> Pac Man aggravated tension. Yeah. <laughs> Learning the green guy's uh, moves. Which is. Just don't go directly for you. If there's a turn, take the turn. I don't know what the other guys do. Except for the red. I know the red and the green guys. Red like, just goes see? straight for you. Green is like, yeah. Oh, we got one. All of mine. Come, nope. Come back here. Oh, my God. Come on. I know I got one. Oh, my God. The red's all on the loose. <laughs> he's always the first one you get because he's always the one closest to you. This makes a beeline. Oh. Oh, it's so slow. Get, stop eating pellets for a second. No, that was not. Took the long way around. Oh, it's not good. Eight, two. Let's take some turns. You're so close. To an extra life. Not to finishing the board. No, I mean, uh, do I to have an extra pellet? life? No, only I need a few more. What are you doing? You only <laughs> need a few more to an extra life. <laughs> what? Don't die? Oh, they're all gathered together now. Which there is you go, great. one more. Nah. Uh, there you go. Maybe no more power pellets. Oh, Pinky is slow. Good. Don't need a fast person. Like the red everybody one. Everybody up. Everybody up. Okay, now everybody down. Oh, I gotta take some turns. No, no, no! Mm. Very close. Very close. I think I can make it Got to level two. Got a few two. left, yeah. Oh, no! those two. Oh, that's good. That green took a turn. Let's, is this the end? Is this the end? No, it's not. Let's not go for kamikaze mode there. I need a little bit more time. Oh my god. Okay. Perfect. No. Damn it! I have one more life. I'll get it now, obviously. 
Unless the bread guy goes straight for those dots. Oh my goodness, finally. Oh, level two. I earned this cutscene. <laughs> well, that re that uh, red ghost really sticks to you. Yeah, he just goes straight for you as quickly as he can. And he's faster than you. So, yeah, and he's first out of the gate. Look at that. He was the first one to come out. He's kind of circling over there. I don't know what he's doing. Mm, 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 no. Mm, no, 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 no. <gasps> Damn it. Okay. Now, there's actually a uh, Easter egg in this game. There's no high scores. But there's an Easter egg in this game, and the way... People couldn't find it for a long time. So, so you have to press the player two fire button plus the pause button just before or during the monster introduction screen. You'll know you have it when you see a smaller antenna monsters come out instead of the original ones. So this is already too far past it. So, uh, oh no, it's, it's already past it. I think I have to reset this because it's too far past so player two what's the pause hi hold tight there we go it's not working is this an older version or a version oh there we go you have to press both the fire buttons both buttons yeah. junior pac-man plus hmm they're all the antenna guys. Oh, cute! It was a. Uh, it was um. And all the things are different. Pogo stick. What? Baby bottle. Skateboard. Cowboy hat. Nice. Pogo stick. Toy car. They're all baby stuff. Spaceship. Oh, oh asteroid spaceship. A cookie. Ooh, cookie. Guitar. So. Are we playing a random level? We'll play a hard level and just one player. There you go. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> this is going to be challenging. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> this is actual Junior Pac-Man. Oh my god, they're so fast. <gasps> he didn't even turn. Or did he? No, because it's random. I remember. I remember. Oh. That's what makes this game so challenging. I've never owned a helicopter beanie. <laughs> CompuSA, we used to sell those helicopter beanies. <laughs> Oh my god, it's useless. <laughs> they they go blink blink and then they're then they're back to normal again. That's insanity. This game is insanity. Yeah. I made it to level two. On this? Oh on this. But on when the game I was playing when you left. Oh good. Psst. What are you doing? Wow. Trouble. It's hard. What is he doing? Attacking the other cat. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Pull out hair mode. Uh, yeah, uh, this is definitely pull out hair mode. I mean, you don't have to play this hard level, but um, you're relatively still fast. It's just overall everything's faster. Oh my god, and that. That's useless. That's insanity. I'm sure there are people who can play it and play it well, I'm but oh my goodness. Oh yeah. It means nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> it, it, it has no value. I know I sele we selected the hardest board because we don't. We're kind of done playing the game. Yeah. I just wanted to see see what the hardest level is like, and and I mean the maze is also crazy. There's nothing but loops where it's, it's you insanity. just get stuck. It's insanity. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to give it a try? Are you good? <laughs> I'll try it. That is I'm going insanity. To die immediately. Because there's long corridors everywhere in this. And they're just going to catch up with me. Yeah. Gain a tiny bit on the corners. Oh, cat stink. Cat stink. Yep, cat stink is coming. Stinky. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> totally useless. 
totally useless. Ah, uh, I need a little bit of reprieve. Are you gonna get two? <gasps> no. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna get. I want to try and get one. Let's see. Where's oh, you'd my have to get it pellets? instantaneously. Where's my? There's my. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get one. I'm going to start it again. Get yeah. one. Get one. Just wait right by it. <laughs> Metal Lunar says, ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh, God. Didn't even come your way. <laughs> ah, I pressed the wrong direction. So it, hard, so hard. so hard to even get a guy. this one now. And there's less power pellets in this level too. Oh, oh no. You don't even have a, you don't have a chance. <laughs> you don't have a chance. Because they run away from you and they're faster than oh you so you gosh. don't even. You're like screwed. Oh, I... that actually turned them. <gasps> wow. The guitar turned them. Oh my god. What the hell? That's what Pac-Man Plus does. <laughs> oh, maybe there's different It options. does different things every time you hit a power pellet. Okay, let's play a normal game on it. No, no, it, it does do different things. I remember uh, Bob DeCrescenzo talking about Sing? it. Sing? Okay, yeah. well, let's play Random a, things a happen. normal game, then. You want to start an easy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not easy, but... No, no, start an easy one, and you can see what yeah, random things easy, happen. Yeah, on easy level. Yeah. So, that's the highest. You can just do a single player one. Oh. Do okay. a single player one, just to show it. On the baby bottle level. Oh, well, this is totally... There's exits! This is totally different. It's not exits, is it? Or is it It's scrolling? exits. Ooh. This is a totally different game. Well, it's a totally... It's the baby level, right? The easy? Yeah, but it's, it's, it's completely different. But you see, different. one guy didn't turn. Yeah, but everything's different. The maze is well, different. the mazes are often it has different exits. on every, every level. No, the original game has no exits yes, whatsoever. Yes, but this is Pac-Man on... Plus. It's a different game. I know. Yes. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's a different game. Yeah. But the mazes are different. Yeah. But but the big the thing with this game is every time you have a power pellet, something random happens. Like a guy, it turns black. Yeah. But this is a hidden mode on the game. You can't just access it. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Dark mazes. <laughs> just oh. for James. Oh my god, it doesn't turn back. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I don't know Just where I'm going. Just for James. Yeah. Oh, oh no. you bastard. Baby bottle ate your pellet. <laughs> dark oh. maze, Metal Lunar uh, says. <laughs> yeah, dark maze. <laughs> yeah, this is added by Bob D. It's the teddy bear level, yeah. It's completely his creation, though, right? Yeah. This doesn't exist anywhere else. Pac-Man Plus? Junior Pac-Man Plus? I don't know. You play it, and I'll look it up. How do I go back? I want to go one level up. Uh, you just wait till it goes to the t screen. Okay. And then move the joystick. And you can go to skateboard. So we can see skateboard level. Looks like Pac-Man. Pac-Man maze. But extended. Let's see... If Junior Pac-Man Plus exists anywhere. I don't think it did. Ah, I don't know where oh, I'm no. going. Oh no, Dark Maze. <laughs> dark Maze. You like Dark Mazes? No, I never said I like Dark Mazes. <laughs> I just said that you don't. Ah. Uh, why, why are they all dark? I don't just not like Dark Mazes. I hate Dark Mazes. Is it always going to go dark every time now? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, oh, looks God. like it. That's a nightmare. With a random one not turning blue. Crazy. No, it's just his. This is... Uh... Is it just his game? Oh, wait a second. No, that's pac Yeah, I think this is just his. Which is great. If you want, if you want a challenge, this is the challenge. Junior Pac-Man Plus. All it comes up with is his. With the 7800 version, yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty challenging. That's really cute. It is cute. I like it a lot. So. Put that down if you like. Today we played Boulder Dash Engine. 
Yes. Which was very cool demonstration of a lot of really interesting technology. Really, really looked beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Incredible use of the play field along with CDFJ. Mm. It was the combination of those two things and the way and the chrono color makes something that people can use to make very different types of games. Mm. Um, why is this? Oh. I'm like, why is it still in Junior Pac-Man? But it's a video. I'm trying to go back to the chat, the chat there. Um, down, down, and then back up. There we go. Excellent. I really appreciate having Pat Plus in the Pac-Man Plus. Oh. Pac-Man collection. Yes. I didn't even open this. This is the actual Junior. Junior Pac-Man. Oh. Ah, don't touch it. Don't touch it. One or two players, eight skill levels, normal and fast player speed, three to five lives to start with. Rolling mazes double the challenge. Supports high score cartridge. Save your high scores. Um, it didn't seem to work with this, but I don't think he's added it in to work with this because this oh, has I see. some high score support, I believe. The the mm. dragon uh, dragonfly. Dragon yeah. Uh, his world is filled with gigantic mazes and nasty bullies. He eats more, runs more, and plays harder than Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man combined. Junior is impish, incorrigible, and independent. Come race with him in his amazing playground with Junior Pac-Man. It's a whole new game. That is for sure. I'm going to open this up because it's probably one of the only times that I would do this. Because there's so many games to play. The chance of coming back around to Junior Pac-Man is going to be a while. Thank you, Revenge. And thank you for your awesome Serpentine game. Yes, that one's good too. Definitely putting that on my to-buy list. So nice. Video game, yeah. Nice manual. It's got all the points on the back. Uh, get an extra turn when you reach 10,000. And that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, skill levels, playing the game. Yep. Yeah, strategies. Pay attention to the game sound. Such as a tromping sound of a toy. Yep, that's very smart. Junior Pac-Man turns corners faster than ghost bullies. Yeah. Dots worth 10 points slow down pa Junior Pac-Man down. Dot worth 50 points slow him down even more. Mm -hmm. yeah. And cartridge. It's the same as the box. The same as the manual. Very nice. Very nice. Who did the artwork on this? Did he get credit? No. No. No, he did not. Who knows who did <laughs> good the artwork? Maybe he did his own. He could have. I... Yeah, he does some of his own graphics. Yeah, it doesn't say here. Maybe it's on the box. Mm. Uh, no, it's not. No credit. Uh, good show with good games. Thanks, Danny. You see? <laughs> so, we coming... Oh, yeah. Let's go through the games. Boulder Dash Engine. Lots of fun. Can't wait to see what people do with that mm -hmm. um, on upcoming games because it has a lot of potential. Serpentine super fun really i wanted good. to just keep playing that actually yeah it was really fun yeah uh junior pac-man so hard it's so hard um but on on the easy mode the beginner mode the b setting the beginner that's mode, really fun it's, it's not bad you can actually fun. play I, it for, I quite like it yeah. for a decent length of time so it's nice yeah. to have that mode what are you doing bad cat <laughs> i think you could see that on camera too could you he's like Look at that tail. Yeah. Swooshy. No. <laughs> he looks like he wants to attack the camera. Yeah. Just waiting for the camera, the whole screen to just go whoop right He's, down. Oh, God, no, please. <laughs> Pixel. He's still mad. Pixel, what are you thinking about? <laughs> little cat brain. His little calculations. Yeah. So coming up on the show, next episode is going to be a 2600 day. Excellent. We're going to be playing most likely... Telvis Sota, which is a sharpshooter game. Mm. Uh, Hellway update. He's pretty much done. He's added a ton of stuff into it. Uh, no. 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 Fluffy. Fluffy cat. No. You stay here. No. You stay here. Um, and we're going to, for a high score in Ninja Sky and Low Res World for the 2021 Harmony Games. Let's see if we can get a high score. So far, we're maintaining our high score in uh the last round we did uh which is tower rebel oh so if somebody wants to get yeah, he is plotting look at this guy 
Oh, <laughs> you're bad. <laughs> you're a bad cat. Um, the special unannounced event probably won't happen in April. Um, and I pushed, we've pushed back the exclusive world premiere of the Champs Games Secret New Homebrew. Oh my god. Well, see you later, follow ZPH. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, the exclusive world premiere of Champs Secret New Homebrew game has been pushed back a week. Mm -hmm. So now it's going to be on April 21st. Gotcha. Um, which is just fine with us. <laughs> okay, you're a bad cat. Stay right here. <laughs> He's just <laughs> Ninja Sky is so cool. It is very cool. Mm. And um I can finish that game. I think Squish it's scored by how many lives you have left. Yeah. No, it's it does have a high score. So you have to just get through the levels as fast as you can. <laughs> and then we're gonna go on a little break after that, after May twenty first. To regroup. <laughs> and I'm probably going to redo some of the graphics and stuff. Mm. And, uh, yeah. Take some time. Take, Take some, some time. Do some stuff. We'll see if I actually get around to doing a show intro. <laughs> oh. A little short show intro. A little video at the beginning. Yeah, nice. it would be nice to, be to try cool. and do that. Cool. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't been able to do it so far. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Say that again. Champ Games... Champ, exclusive world premiere of Champs Games Secret New Homebrew is going to be on March 21st. March? Not, sorry, May 21st. May 21st. One of those months with the letter M. May? Yeah, May, May 21st. Okay. okay. Yeah, May to, end of May. Not April then. Yeah. Not April. Okay. So it's very far in the future. You'll okay. be hearing me say it many times. <laughs> Between over the now next, and there. Over then the next now. month and a half. Fair enough. Uh, or even more. No, what is it? What? It's, it's April now. So it's, it's April. A, it would be it's a May. month away. Yeah, just a month away. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you We're very much, good. Atari Twenty Six Hundred, dude. Yes. May will be here before we realize. Yes. yes. Sorry, I did. I say April. Oh, yeah. That would be uh, very soon. That would be like next week. May twenty first, a month away. Yeah. Uh, so we have um, a dozen shows before between now and then. Yeah. Um, and uh, lots of games to play between now and then mm -hmm. as well. So thanks for hanging out with us. Iceposta, yeah. Fitoko, Metal Lunar 7, Tari 2600 Dude, Mike Soul. You want to say some names? Nostalgic 26, Revenge, Dan AVC, Iceposta, Cafe Man 2D, uh, Milton Blatt Bradley, uh, Great Defenders in there too. Uh, it's Kev, Iopta, Metal Lunar 7, if I didn't say that already. Uh, Spiceware, Andrew Davey. Thank you for letting us play your game. Yes, absolutely. Um, um, uh, same people, same people. Same, lots of people chatting. Yeah. Miss it's... Command earlier, Mike Bloke. Uh, That's it. That's the top. Everybody else has scrolled off. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, enjoy the stream tonight. Good night, and thanks for the stream. Well, thank you for tuning in. It's thank you always so much. a pleasure playing these amazing games. Um, it was interesting going through all of Bob Ted Crescenzo's games and mm -hmm. going, oh, yeah, we're going to play that one, and that one, and that one, and that one coming up on the stream. So we're going to stagger them in yeah. as we go. So we've got a Pac-Man in, and then we're going to go to another one that's not Pac-Man at all, because he's got a lot of Pac-Mans. Yep. Um, and, uh, Sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah, and play the games as they come out. Yeah. So uh, we'll be back on Tuesday, same time. Yeah. And uh, have a good night and have a good weekend, everyone. So see you next time. Yeah, enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.